Acha tuingie kwa wageni kidogo. Tukingoja tunasubiri Dorin aje. Alafu tunaingia kazi haraka upenzi. Lakini kabla hiyo Kembai yuko kwenye nyumba. Kembai good morning. Mzuri sana. Good morning to you. Habari yako? Mzuri sana. Aha. Uh-huh. microphone yako kidogo. Sawa sawa. Uh-huh. Very good. Hapo iko sawa kabisa. Aha. Uh-huh. Acha nikupe nafasi ya kujintroduce kwanza. Wewe ni nani? Unatoka wapi? Mhm. Uh-huh. Okay, huyu mwenye mnamuona hapa ni Kimutai Kimboi. Uh-huh. Uh, ni mwanafunzi. Ndio uh-huh. anaelekea kumaliza. Uh-huh. Na pia apart from core student, I do a lot of things, especially za kwa za kuelimisha jamii uh-huh. na pia kuwa empower. So uh, times pia mimi nakuwa nga blogger. Aha. Okay. Ya yeah, mama mentor. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I also do a lot of other stuff apart from hizo ni mention. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Wewe uyo area of blogs or blogging ni gani? And uh, mimi nimitandao za kijamii mm-hmm. sana sana Facebook mm-hmm. na Instagram. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Na zungumzia nga nini aswa? Okay, ni story tu zinahusiana uh, inahusiana na HIV. Okay. So how to live with HIV. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all about like from kujua status mm-hmm. yako mm-hmm. venye utanza medication yako venye mm-hmm. utalive na HIV mm-hmm. then pia labda kujumalizia na disclosure though disclosure si kitu ya kila mtu uh-huh. but hapo ndio namalizia anga ni process hiki ndio ni process yeah it's a process cuz mm-hmm. unaanza from kujua hali yako mm-hmm. kujua uji accept from kujua accept once medication mm-hmm. then once tu kuishi maisha yako ya kawaida mm-hmm. yeah oh, nyumbani ni wapi Okay I'm from Nakuru County mm-hmm. uh, place inaitwa Molo Molo yeah. uh-huh. pale kwa baridi yeah huko kwa baridi okay. uh-huh. mm-hmm. unasomea so, wapi Okay nasomea kwa kwa mm. uh, Catholic University of East Africa exactly ah, right. that's nice that's mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. nasomea nini daddy and uh, I'm, I'm doing an IT related course which is computer science okay yep oh, nice that's a good one mm-hmm. so history story ulijua lini history ni kuja kujua 2015 mm-hmm. 2015 yeah what has been your story Okay it happened kwa nilikuwa nafaa kumaliza shule 010 but sasa juu nilizaliwa kwa family yenye iko azazi well off mm-hmm. so unajua sasa primary school ilikuwa free so kusoma ilikuwa rais mm-hmm. then sasa nilifika high school it was a bit tricky cause ilikuwa lazima nilipe fee and all that mm-hmm. and by the way just because you've mentioned it mm-hmm. i think let's start it all the way from the childhood what has your story been from being a child mm-hmm. nene kabla hata hatujafika mali na kwa tufika okay mimi nimezaliwa na nikalelewa tu nika mtoto wa, wa kawaida mm-hmm. na ile tu ile tu watoto wanapitianga uki grow i went to through all that mm-hmm then nikiwa primary to life yangu ilikuwa easy cause haikuwa na mambo mingi mm-hmm. just sasa shule ilikuwa kuna kuna soma bure so sikuwa na issue ya, ya labda kukosa fees and all that mm-hmm. but sasa venye nilienda high school ndio mm-hmm. sasa mashida ikaanzia hapo mm-hmm. because being in high school you have uh, ilikuwa lazima nilipe fee and i remember ile fee nilikianga ni yenye nilije nyingi na form 1 mm-hmm. ya first term peke yake hizo zingine ni ile tu kifukuzwa kidogo naenda na pena kidogo narudi shule hivyo hivyo so wakati nilifika form 4 sasa il, ilikuwa lazima nimalize deni ndio niruhusiwe ku register so juu siko ni clear hiyo fee ikabidi sasa ikafika mali ilibidi ni, ni drop out of school hiyo ni mwaka gani that was 010 mm. then sasa venye ni drop out of school sasa ile unakaa huko nyumbani mko na wazazi sasa unashindwa azinu ukikata hivi unaona mzazi anasumbuka So nikaona nikika hapa it's like itakuwa stress kwa mzazi. Then pia mimi nilikuwa nile hamu ya kumaliza shule. When first born kwenu? No, I'm the last born. Oh, you're the last born. Yeah. Okay. So ile sasa nimeka huko home nikaona nikika hapa home hawa wazazi watakuwa na shida like they were stressed wa kiniona pia mimi niko stress on my, on my side. So kuta hapo um, hapo tu nikaanza kufikiri I think labda naweza anza ku hustle ni kisave ndio nijirudishe shule. Mm. But sasa unajua life ya ushago huko yeah. yes makazi ziko lakini kabarua walipo ni duni yeah. yeah so nikaona hapa siwezi make alafu ndio jesa ukiwa ushago unasikia watu wanasema Nairobi kuna pesa kuna kazi and all that mm, nasikia Nairobi ndio kuna dough yeah mm-hmm. so mimi nikasema juko kuna dough hivi nende nikajaribu mm-hmm. so ikaamua kuja Nairobi nikakuja Nairobi ni mwaka gani sasa that was um things 012 yeah 2012 yes so i came to Nairobi i didn't know any ulikuja aje Nairobi ile ile tu umechukua tu gari unasema unaenda Nairobi So, Unajua kisha ingia gari ni hivyo. Mm. Alafu nakuja Nairobi ujui mtu, ujui place unaenda like I've never been here before. And then sasa un... ulipata tu matatu kasema unaenda Nairobi. Yeah, naenda tu Nairobi. Alafu unajua sasa ukiwa home especially watu wenye washa kuja huko maybe friends ama ama unasikia mtu mtu tu akisema have a relative in Nairobi unasikia kila mtu ni kama ana mention Donom. Mm. So nikasikia Donom is like I think it's a good place. Kuna hapo ndio Nairobi sasa. Yeah, hapo ndio Nairobi. Donom ndio Nairobi. Yeah. So mm. nilikuja hii Nairobi sasa nikijua tunaenda Donom na sijui Donom ni wapi sijai kuja huku. Mm. 
and then sasa ile ile after ni shaichi kwa ma tumekuja i think tulikuwa tumefika westlands watu washaanza kushuka shuka mm-hmm. so tulifika stage ya mwisho tawa tukiwa watu wawili ile ile mm-hmm. unaambiwa hapa sasa ndio mwisho uh-huh. so ikabidi nimeshuka hapo uh-huh. so kushuka hapo sasa ikabidi nikaulizia stage ya ni ya don home ni wapi uh-huh. njoo siko anajua uh-huh. nikaonyeshwa nikachukua gari ya don home mimi huyo mpaka don home nikaambiwa pia hapa ndio mwisho uh-huh. Sasa nimefika hapo hapo ndio mwisho. Kapata hakuna watu wa village yenye wanasema kwamba kuja Donom. Exactly. Uh-huh. Sasa sasa umefika Donom, ulikuwa umesema unaenda Donom. Sasa umefikishwa hapo uh-huh. what next? Uh-huh. So kutoka hapo tu unajua uko ni my estate even. Hapo sasa nikaanza kuulizia kama naweza pata job. So there's this guy alikuwa guard wa um, estate flani. Ilikuwa saa ngapi hapo ukifika? Um ilikuwa kitu saa 10. Uh-huh. Yeah. So nikaongea naye nikamuuliza okay mimi nikamueleza unajua sasa nilikuwa so open juu unajua mtu mwingine unaweza muelezea hivyo a feel na labda amwe kusaidia or something so mimi nilikuwa so frank mimi nikamwambia vinye nimejipata nimetoka home hadi nimefika Nairobi so akaniambia boss wake alikuwa amesikia ki alikuwa na demtu wa kumfanyia job as a, a gardens boy ule anashughulika na ku trim fence hapo nje kufagia fagia kumwosha gari and all that mm. so tukaongea naye akaniambia unless umwogoje mpaka jioni akifika ndio mtakuja kuongea naye mm. so nikaka hapo alifika kitu kitu kielekea saa moja mm. nikakuja tukaongea naye she was a lady mm. so tukaongea naye akaniambia ako yes ako na job na atani offer so from there mimi akanipea room SQ Mm-hmm. So mimi nikakaa huko asubuhi akiamka asubuhi mimi nishamaliza kazi yake like Karu besha chapa kazi. Yeah, nishachapa kazi. Mm-hmm. So I think from that akaanza kunitrust cause akiamka mimi nishamaliza kila kitu mm-hmm. like everything is done. Mm-hmm. So I think akaanza kunitrust from there. So Juma alikuwa mtu wa kutoka toka sana sana ni mtu wa kwenda out like anapenda kwenda out. So Jusa zingine alikuwa anafika late at night and all that. So after um, wiki kama mbili hivi akaniambia atanipea one room in in in, in her main house like one bedroom akaniambia juu ya ni mtu wa kutoka toka itakuwa ni vizuri nikae hapo ndani ndio at least ni kama nimemlindia nyumba pia. Mm-hmm. So I moved in. So kazi alikupea ni kazi gani alikuwa amekupea? Ilikuwa tu kufagia fagia hapo nje mm-hmm. isu najuizi my state kuna yeah. kuanga na miti nini nini so ikifika yeah. asubuhi napata imeangusha majani maua and all that. So mm-hmm. nikafagia na maua na kumwosha gari. Na kumwosha gari. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, alikuwa anakulipa pesa ngapi mami? Okay, hatakuwa tumeelewana ni pesa ngapi but alikuwa ameniambia ataona vinye atanisaidia. Mm-hmm. So unajua mtu akikwambia atakusaidia sasa wenzi wezi insist like utakuwa nilipa ndonga mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. atakwambia yeah. atakusaidia una hizi alafu ni test for it ujui sasa labda ukitoka hapo mm-hmm. unaweza enda mm-hmm. kuweza kosa kazi mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so me i decided to work for her despite that atakuwa tumeelewana malipo itakuwa aje so after hizo wiki mbili nime move in hapo unajua we, we were so close like kifika ni breakfast at times muna share for um, on the same table wow. uh, supper so ikafika time tulianza tu kuongea naye akaniambia you look young unafaa kuwa shule what's not happening so mimi nikamuelezea what happened nikamu explainia kila kitu akaniambia alikuwa alikuwa willing kunrudisha shule but kwa masharti sasa hiyo chapewa room sasa eh e, already nisha move ile tu ile, ile tu mmeka kwa meza alikwambia utoke sq uingie sasa e, uh, kwa nyumba eh e. alafu sasa after nisha ingia hapo nilikaa kasi hadi niliingia tu akaanza hizo story mm-hmm juu nikaa muda gani eh nilikaa i think si kumaliza wiki tena hizi vitu zilikuwa zina happen mm-hmm. sana mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. so akaniuliza mimi nikamwambia what happened akaniambia ako willing and rudisha shule yenye mm-hmm. ndachagua mimi mwenyewe mm-hmm. so najua sasa imefika hapo mtu anataka kurudisha shule na ni shule yenye utajichagulia mm-hmm. sasa unaona kama umefika mm-hmm. naona kama umeomoka sasa yeah hapo mm-hmm. ni kuomoka mm-hmm. so akaniambia sasa hata nirudisha shule lakini mm-hmm after nisha mfilfilia ile masharti yenye atanipea uh-huh. so masharti ilikuwa gani akani akaniambia ndio ufikirie kama utakuwa sawa mm-hmm. i'm good rudi shule yeah. yeah so sasa nimeenda kufikiria like huyu mtu tulikutana naye mara ya kwanza and she offered me a job like we never knew each other mm-hmm. and i've been offered a job sasa ameniambia atanirudisha shule shule yenye ndachichagulia mm-hmm. na janiambia ati i labda nimfanyie kazi ifike mahali ndio atanirudisha shule mm-hmm. like alikuwa willing and rudisha shule ikifunguliwa So nikaka hapo nikifikiria nikasema huyu mtu I think eh, she has no ill, ill intentions because if ni mtu ameamua kunisaidia hivi mm. sidhani kama kuna nia mbaya so from there tukaka like almost a week also hizi vitu zilikuwa zina happen so fast mm. after a week sasa akaniuliza uliamua aje then sasa wajuu nimefikiria like huyu mtu ako willing kunisaidia so jatoa masharti masharti ulipewa ni gani si kupewa aliniambia tuenda fikiria ufikirie maneno ya shule alikwambia ndo fikiria maneno ya shule hata hiyo masharti like yenda ufikirie hivu ta hivu ta fulfill vile ndakwambia Oh, so, na hajakwambia nini anakuambia ni nini so ni ile tu umeenda umefikiria ukasema huyu mtu ni kama ni mtu tu roho safi so sidhani kama kuna niambaya na mimi 
so kutoka hapo wakaniuliza uliamua aje mimi tu nikamwambia afta sasa ni ile sasa ni nisha 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 credit nikasema huyu mtu anani ambaye nikamwambia niko sawa so mimi akaniambia alikuwa anataka kulala na mimi so out of vile kukua desperate i'm so confused and all that mimi nilijipata tu nimelala naye hata sikufikiria kutumia protection it just happened once and that was all maisha yangu ikabadilika hapo so nikuulize alikwambia vipi as in alianza wapi story ya conditions na conditions ilikuwa moja ama ilikuwa mingi ilikuwa tu hiyo peke yake as in ni lale tuna and that was all kila siku ama alikwambia ulalange ulala na mimi mara moja alinambia tu hivyo anataka kulala na mimi ile happened for once the following day kuniambia like na tukakaa tu hivyo ukarudi shule hata sikurudi shule nilikaa hapo wai kukaa sana juzi vitu zote zili happen hata mwezi haikuisha hizi vitu zote zilikuwa zisha happen so ikafika mahali kwa alikuwa anafanya job na na kampuni fulani ya insurance alikuwa analipwa vizuri so ikafika mahali i think alisimamisha job iso na job mtumwe nyasha asha zaya salum poa alafu i think pia alikuwa na job about her status so ika kwa depression sasa imekuwa double tragedy ya close job plus pia i think alikuwa na job status yake so that is after how long hiyo hiyo imefanyika after how long after yeah, yeah, between, between hey, conditions na kupoteza kazi mm-hmm. ili happen i think in a span of one week or so like i alipoteza kazi in a week yes i kwa hiku take long like hizi vitu nakwambia zili happen at at, 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 at such a speed mm-hmm. so when leona sasa mmepoteza job tu ameanza kuwa stress mimi kaona hapa hapa sio ni kama hata mm-hmm. naweza mm-hmm. you know na sasa vinyamtu anaendelea vibaya so hata ijo hata muongee vinyamlo mlikuwa mnaongea so nikao na tu hapa hapa hakuna matumaini like nikiendelea kukaa hapa ni kama tu ndaendelea kujiwest so nikamwona katoka hapo nikasema acha tu niende place nyingine alikuwa na miaka ngapi i think she was in um, mid mid 30s mid 30s yeah okay. so yeah. from there mean kama na mdogo kabisa eh kwa mdogo vile ni mtu tu unaona like amekuwa tu machua mid 30s mtu mkubwa sana mm. mm-hmm. alafu na jamii pia sasa nilikuwa mdogo kwa small boy <laughs> Ndio ilikuwa small boy sasa. Mkoje umechanuliwa Nairobi. Mboi ni Nairobi ni shamba la mawe. Sasa unakuja kuchanuliwa kwa miba. Okay, so from there sasa mimi nikaamua kutoka hapo na nikaenda. So when you leenda unajua sasa mtu akiniuliza mimi nilikuwa so open. Like si ile unazungusha, unamwambia mtu as it is. So I met also a certain lady. Alafu unajua sasa hizi vitu watu ugopi like ni mwanamke ile mwingine alinifanya hivyo like sikuwa na feel ile kuogopa like sijuna za describe nilikuwa na feel aje but ni kama nilikuwa tu you are just there so i made this lady to come naye but yeye akaniambia atarudisha shule na akunipea masharti you in the same week as up here the same week after nishato ka huko eh na ulikuwa na bahati yeah nilikuwa na bahati lakini sasa vije ya kwanza ilichomeka so ukatoka donom ukaenda wapi sasa isi kutoka donom nikaenda mbali ni sasa nilio umetoka hapo ile sasa unasema acha tu ni nende nikiulizia ulizia so after sasa niki ni i met with this lady nikamwambia ni nini kamuelezea mlipata na kulienda kwake ili ili ile tumna meet na mtu like climate na ya outside the gate so tukaongea naye akaniambia atarudisha shule alafu hapo sasa tu akaniambia jual alikuwa anaenda job akaniambia jua anaenda job ataniita tukuje tuonge so mimi nikajito hapo nikaenda and then sasa wakati alinita sasa tukakuja kuongea naye akaniambia ko willing kurudisha shule but yeye akunipea masharti uvuchi yenyewe alinirudisha shule nikamaliza shule askarudika ya so nikaenda nikasomea nilienda tukusomea ushago kwao nikamaliza shule sasa nikarudiku Nairobi nikingoja results sasa hiyo harakati ya kungoja results nilikuwa na job mahali ile tu ile tu nilikuwa nyashi yenye unajishikilia nawe as you wait for the results to be released mm-hmm you the next step so as i as i was working there ile time huyo mama mwingine baada na kuongelesha ule mwingine ule mwingine venye nilitoka hapo hiyo story kaishia hapo akukongelesha tena hatuko waiongea tena okay okay sasa after hapo sasa ilikuwa siku yangu ya off ilikuwa tunatembea barabarani iso kuna watu wanakuanga na na trucks wameka hizi trucks za show so walikuwa na play some good music unajua vijana na ngoma za damu na love sikio damu ndio alikuwa ameanza kuvuma. Alikuwa ameingia sasa. Yeah. Yeah. So nimesimama tu hapo na mimi tulikuwa nasikia ngoma. Wakafika mm-hmm. mahali ukasimamisha truck yao, ukaanza kushukisha hema wakatengeneza hapo. Mm-hmm. Mimi sikuwa najua anafanya nini. Na watu walikuwa nakuja kupima watu. Mm-hmm. So vinyesa wameshukisha ile sasa unajua watu walikuwa wamejaa hapo. So in ile wanakuja kikwa approach alafu nakuuliza kama unajua about your status and all that. 
so mimi kutoka hapo niliona tu watu wakiuliza mimi hata siko na shughulika na kenye wanafanya mimi mimi tulikuwa nasikia music so ikafika mahali a lady akakuja kani makaniuliza kama unajua status yako nikamwambia najua kwa aji mimi niko sawa ulipima lini mm-hmm. so jilikuwa imekuwa kitambo like miaka mbili iliyopita ile sasa unajaribu kufikiria like ilikuwa lini exactly mm-hmm. so ile process ya ile ile sasa unajaribu kufikiria kaona yenyewe imekuwa kitambo so akaniambia hiyo yako imekuwa kitambo sana unafaa kujua so jumi ilikuwa na jiamini ilikuwa najua niko sawa and all that <laughs> eh unajua sasa nilikuwa naona ni kama like i mean insist sana mimi nikaamua kwenda kupima. So kwenda kupima mimi nilienda huko cause mimi sijai kwa msiki. I've never been sick. Like sijai kwa na shida yote. Ama ama ati um utsemenisha hii jishuku. So I went there, I did the test. Leza sasa umeekewa hapo unajua unajiangalia mwenyewe. So sasa wewe unasoma hizo vitu na sasa mambo imeanza ku imeanza kuharibika. Leni ya kwanza imekuwa ndio ingine. Ya pili sasa inaanza kuonekana hapo. So I think I I realize nisha notice sasa so, akakuja so, so, hapo akaniuliza unajua ku interpret nikamwambia iko aje nikamwambia iko na nikaamka nikaenda unajua sasa before pimo even lazima utaongeleshwa kwanza ile mawaidha pimo then after that pia mawaidha after 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 usha pimo mm. but some missing ngoje apile mm. like, unajua hizi vitu zote nilikuwa nafanya ni kama sijielewi cause unajua sasa mimi siko na expectivo so venye umeona results iko hivyo obvious mtu mtu anashtukanga yeah. so mimi nilishtuka tu hapo kama nime nimeamka nimeenda wanajaribu kunishikilia kunyongelesha nikamwambia hapana mimi nikatoka nika hapo nikiwa nimeenda home yeah. so ile kufika home like uamini Kenya umeona yeah mm. so ikafika mahali sasa nikasema ama hiyo 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 ni nyoli ni pima nani unaweza kwa labda iko na iko na era so, mm-hmm. eh julikuwa nasikia za hapo awali at times ulikuwa nasikia iko na era cause at times inazoonyesha uko nayo ukienda ku pimwa tena inaonyesha mm. hauna ama times inaonyesha hauna mm. ukienda kurudi nyingine unapata uko nayo yeah I, so nikasema i think hii ilikuwa ni party hiyo hiyo kama unaanza consolation sasa yeah mm-hmm. so nikatoka hapo after some two three days ndio nikaamua kwenda place nyingine kupima cause mimi siko na amini mm. nikaenda hapo nikapimwa nikaambiwa iko so i did five more tests like in different places mpaka mm. sasa ikafika mahali nimesema sasa hii kudungwa dungwa nimechoka nayo but still hizo zote zinaonyesha uko nayo lakini huamini kama iko. So nile sasa nimeka nimeenda tu nimekaa like siamini, nimeenda tu nimekaa tu hivyo. Mm-hmm. So I stayed for close to one year bila kuamini. Yaani uko tu in denial. Eh, yaani umekaa tu hivyo. Au mm-hmm. make any progress. So unajua sasa yeah, at times ilikuwa naingia online unajaribu kusoma soma hivi hizo vitu. But sasa online ndio ilikuwa ina ilikuwa inarudisha nyuma sana because ile information ninyi ulikuwa unapata huko at times zina contradict. Yeah kwa zime fungua place umesoma story then umefungua different page unapata the same same story but mm-hmm. sasa in an inverted manner mm-hmm. like iko exactly opposite of what you wanted there yeah mm-hmm. so nikaona sasa hapa hii kitu sasa kama iko hivi ni taamini gani mm-hmm. so juu ilikuwa imeanza kunichanganya changanya hivyo hapo sasa nikasema acha ni unless niulize mtu mwenye ako na hali kama yangu mwenye ashapitia hivi mm-hmm. ndio labda atanielewa zaidi ama anaweza kunisaidia So nika approach to mtu a stranger to online to on Facebook cause alikuwa open pia about status yake mm. we talked. So hiyo hiyo wakati lionge na yeye alikuwa France kwa Kenya. Mm. So tukaonge na akaniambia akirudi atakuja kuni ataniambia we meet and talk. Mm. So kutoka hapo we, we exchange numbers and then sasa venye alirudi no just nile it's like una bahati unasemaje ni jaribu nione. Then after ushafanya hivyo mm. unaanza ku feel guilty like mbona sasa nikamuongelesha like you are mm. yeah. you are not ready for it. Yeah. So when I rude cause already kuna namba yake kanipigia nikaona eh hey, ni ule msetli ongeanga na like I was not willing to meet him. Mm. Ju sasa bado uko denial like ujielewi tu. Mm. So I can call mara ya kwanza nikalenga I think I notice mm. na ka use a different number so venye sasa nilichukua nikasikia ni yeye yeah. nikasema tu acha nisikate acha nionge naye mm. so tukaonge naye akaniongelesha and, uh, and then we organized to meet we met someone so tukaenda tukaketi chini akaniongelesha akanimba kanielezea about life story yake bila alikuja akajijua and the progress yenye amemake mpaka mali imefika mm. so nilikuwa impressed because yeye yeah, yeah, mimi vile nilikuwa as, as in ukirelate story yako na yake yake ilikuwa mbaya kuliko yangu Mm-hmm. Iso hapo sasa nikaanza kupata hope hivu mtu ali, like alianze huko chini na amefika mali amefika alafu mm-hmm. mimi it's like mimi nilikuwa tu mimi mi, mi siko magalianzia mm-hmm. so i think your progress yangu inaweza kuwa so much faster mm-hmm. 
then hapo sasa nikaanza ku it's like it's sasa nikaanza kujielewa kidogo mm-hmm. alafu unajua hizo places hiyo uh, hiyo place uh, place yote nyeli ndanga hizo uh, hizo matest nini nini ulikuwa unafanywa counseling and all that alafu unaambia unafaa kuanza medication so me just hapo kitambo kulikuwa na a lot of misconceptions about yeah. these drugs like yeah. kuna vinyo unazishikwa na na tu vidonda kuna vinyo skin yako inaza change to azin mtu anaweza akajua your own, own treatment so nilikuwa sasa na jaribu ku imagine ndio pia nilikuwa nilikuwa na jiprepare ku join campus so nilikuwa na jaribu ku imagine hata 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 nikiwa shule vile ndakana watu so hiyo kitu ilikuwa inarudisha nyuma instead of of ku progress kwanza medication na rudisha nyuma like nisianze hiyo medication cause itakuja kunionyesha so from there kanielezea and all that hapo sasa nikaanza kujikubali pole pole na alafu pia vinya alimalizia kaniambia nafaa kuanza medication so no now hizo mikono zote nimepitia yeah. everybody's advising me to so start medication yeah. so ikafika mali sasa nikasema juu juu saa like wananiambia wacha tu nianze jia so nilianza medication mm. not for my sake mm. but for their sake because kila mtu i should i should be enrolled on medication so nikaanza medication after sasa nimeanza medication hapo sasa ndio nikaanza ku accept pole pole mm-hmm. then from there sasa ndio nimeanza medication hata sijamaliza m- miezi mbili ndio nime join campus alafu mm-hmm. najua ku join campus obvious unaanza kuanzia life nini unaanzia hostel mm-hmm. ana nimejo hostel mnashare so tukulize hii hii span ya one year mm-hmm. between you uh, knowing your status mm-hmm. na kupatana na jamaa mbaya kusaidia huu mm-hmm. mama ulikuwa na kana alikuwa alikuwa we ulikuwa shamuongelesha ukamwambia Oh, okay after after, after sasa nilipimwa unajua sasa nile ukushajua ile sasa unajaribu ku trace back like hiki kitu inaweza kweli toka wapi mm-hmm. so nika trace back kaenda mpaka sasa ule mama tulilala naye mm-hmm. so kutoka hapo nikasema acha nifuatilie story yake nione vile anaendelea vile anaendelea ule trace back aje eh ule ile sasa ile sasa nimerudi hiyo estate cause it was not far from where i was working mm-hmm. ile sasa unajaribu kuulizia na kulikuwa na mama fulani alikuwa anaishi nyumba fulani So I may, I may met a certain guard because I will move after I shall foot a job akatoka huko Nairobi akaenda Ushago. Mm. Is is isosuna jwatu alikuwa na jwatu wengine walikuwa na jwa mpaka mali alikuwa anatoka. Mm. So kufuatilia story yake nikaambiwa alitokanga huko akaenda Ushago and unfortunately nilikuja kujua hali yangu mimi mwenye akiwa Asha pass. Kwa sababu kukasa I think akumaliza mwaka. Mm. Campus. Na ukiwa naye alikuwa mgonjwa alikuwa anakaa mgonjwa ama? Mm-hmm. Alikuwa tu sawa. I, I, I think stress ni stress ndio ilimkimbiza sasa kwa amejikubali juu nilisikia after Asha enda Ushago akaanza kuwa msick hizo ile sasa watu wa familia wanasema aende usi yeye akawaambia ile shida yako nayo haizi kasaidika kwa hospitali so nikaanza ku join the dots i think mm-hmm. she already knew about it mm-hmm. so hiyo kukaun deni nini ku deny and all that ndio ile kampeni kangambia okay but still kama angekuwa high sai hii cause uh, unajisa ile ile after nisha jua hali yangu nilikuwa n- 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 na ile graduate unajili u- 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 unasemanga like huyo mtu nikimit kwa namba ya siji kama ndamaliza mm-hmm. eh yeah. mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni kitu kama hiyo mm-hmm. basi ikafika mahali mimi nikaanza tu kusema i think niki hiyo hiyo graduate hiyo graduate ile ile kui hold inakokula mwenyewe yeah inarudisha nyuma hapo tu nikaamua kumsamea na nika like i forgive and forgot at unajua times ulikuwa nakaa unaanza kufikiria sasa na saa hii like angekuwa hai saa hii angekuwa na angekuwa na filaja kijua ni kama ameniharibia maisha mm-hmm. so unajua kitu ilikuwa inaendelea yeah. mm-hmm. so nikasema acha tu nimsamee na hiyo mambo ni sahau hata saa ingekuwa hai mimi singekuwa na shida na yeye tunge meet me bit salimiana and all that but mimi singeanza kumfuatilia kumuuliza mbona ukafanya all the, all that yeah so um likuja kujua kama amepasi hivyo na hiyo story tu ikaisha hapo. Hapa sasa venye ni yeah, after sasa nimekuja ku join campus ile sasa mko hostel you are sharing the hostel with um tulikuwa tunashare watu. Na huyo umenye alikurudisha shule ulikuwa nakaa kwake? No, after nilimaliza shule sasa unajua nilikuwa na jia asoli asoli aso. So ulitoka kwake. Ya ulitoka kwa kwa shule ukatoka kwake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ni ile tu on weekends ukiwa free unaenda kumsalimia. Then sasa after nisha join sasa campus nilikuwa nakaa kwa hostel na tulikuwa tunashare watu watatu alafu na jama boy venye wanakuanga sometimes mnapiga story mpaka saa tisa huko either mnapiga story um, na watch maybe movie ama mnacheza games hapo alafu na jama education ukishaanza inakuwa na masharti yake unafaa unafaa kufuatilia masaa so ili kufuatilia masaa ufai kupitisha hiyo masaa na ufai kukosa kunywa so ilikuwa inania ila ina inainterfere na ile adherence yangu juu at times unakaa mpaka saa tisa na dakika unafaa kukunywa saa tatu 
So nakamba kasa tisa nongoje watu wa alale ndi uende wa kesi ile dawa yako ile dawa yako kwa kuna mtu alikuwa anajua alafu najua pia nilikuwa na ile hofu ya wakijua inaweza kuwa labda sasa hiyo story itaanza kutoka huko nje muanze kunitenga. So I was really, really like um nilikuwa na struggle too. So ikafika mahali sasa um ilikuwa na neighbor mwingine hapo alikuwa na alikuwa na shida ya ugonjwa wa sukari diabetes iso kuna venye afya yake ilikuwa imeanza kudhoofika mtu ameanza kulusweet alikuwa na katu alikuwa na katu mtu mgonjo mgonjo so ile tu tunakaa hapo unasikia sasa hiyo story sasa ikaanza like umeona fulani alafu songesha mic kidogo eh watu wanasema excuse me okay sawa so eh ikaanza sasa sasa ile unaona fulani of late like um kuna venye ameanza kuchange sasa wanaanza kusema huyo mtu anakaa ni kama ashakosea mahali watu wanasema anga amestep on a live wire so hiyo ki julikuwa nilikuwa as in nilikuwa na joshi dau mse ilikuwa inaniuma cause ile ile kitu anawekelewa sio hiyo unjisa watu walikuwa wanasema i think i'm meko infected na hiv na mimi nilikuwa na joshi dau ni diabetes so ilikuwa inaniuma sasa nikijua huyu mtu anaongelelewa saa hii alafu next itakuja kunirudia nimi ni mimi so hapo hapo sasa nikawauliza na is is story mnaongele are you sure of of that wakaniambia kani mbivi vitu zingine tu ni za kuangalia na macho na una conclude ni sio isi ati lazima uje hizo nikauliza like mshaisikia mahali akisema amenda akapima au mshaisikia mtu akisema huyu mtu huyu jamaa ashaenda mahali akapima ikasemekana ameambukizwa akasema hapana hizo nasema tu hizi ni vitu za kuangalia na macho hapo sasa nilikuwa na hapo sasa nikaingilia nikajaribu kuambia na mimi na story yake anakuwa na shida ya diabetes akaniambia kaniambia ulijoaje mimi nikamwambia mimi nilimuuliza kwa sasa nilikuwa naona ile mtu anakaa unajua ukiona mtu wako anakaa so si clear at times inabidi namuuliza shida iko wapi so akaniambia una expect wende umuulize alafu akwambia ati ati yako infected so your story can you ma cause no unajua eh eh so alafu na just nilikuwa na feel if huyu ni mtu mnamuongelele na hamjui like amko sure sasa mimi mkikuja kujua yangu si sasa mtaniongelea vibaya zaidi then from there at um, um, after nilisha join campus ni just ile nilikuwa na feel like mtu mwenye anajua tu about my status ni ule stranger mwenye tuliongeanga na yeye mpaka akani akani introduce kwa medication but sasa kuna mtu wa family alikuwa anajua so nilikuwa na feel like it's me sasa sasa hii in case anything happens to me mtu mtu mwenye anakuja anaweza kukuja kunisaidia ni nani hapo nikajua ni mtu wa familia ndio wako so close to me na irrespective of ya ile hali ndapitia watu wa familia ndio watasimama na mimi so from there hapo sasa nikaamua kuongea na mtu mtu from the family alafu unajua as much as you are so close in that family mnakuanga so close na mtu mwingine sana so it happened to be my elder brother tukaongea naye cause tulikuwa so open like tulikuwa tunaongea tu mambo mingi na hao so from there tukaongea naye nikamwambia he was shocked but akani support hapo sasa nikamwambia itabidi wende uongee na familia cause sasa na shida ndaenda kuanzia wapi you can imagine you are the last born alafu ni wende umeenda through high school in your family ndio hiyo umeingia campus alafu sasa ndio umeleta tena mambo mengine it's it's like sasa your lamp ilikuwa imeanza ku ilikuwa imeanza kuwa bright and then sasa ndio umeleta mambo mengine yenye inakuja kufanya kuwa dim like sasa it's it's like ile 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 tseme the hope yenye yenye walikuanga nayo kwako imeanza kupotea so nikashindwa sana ndawaambia aje so hizo my elder bro ndio aka akaenda akawaambia kila mtu alikuwa shocked but i'm i'm their blood waka walikuwa tu shocked but wakan support then from there sasa ni unajisa like mtu um, wa familia kiku support it's like hiyo ndio hiyo ndio tu nilikuwa nahitaji hata hata mtu kiku support from outside what matters a lot is yeah. someone is so close to you so kutoka hapo sasa nikasema sasa hata watu wengine wakijua wakini support ama wakose kuni support i'm good so kutoka hapo sasa nikaanza kuwauliza so ju, ju, ju sasa yeye mm judge mmemwona vile anakaa mkasema ako infected as in ako infected hii mimi amjui hali yangu mimi mkiniona hivi nakaa kuwa nayo ukaniambia hapana si wewe tu uko sawa nikamwambia mkosho akaniambia mtu anaonekana anga na match like wewe tu uko sawa so from then kawaambia i'm already infected wow ukaniambia hapana hiyo hiyo tu ni chocha like uh, unajisa wanasema ati jua alikuwa anaongelea ule msesi hizo nimeintroduce hiyo story ndile story nyingine katika 
so hawa kuamini and then kutoka hapo sasa nikaenda kwa bag yangu alafu na bag yangu yenyewe nilikuwa nafunganga 24/7 like yeah. ulikuwa unafia <laughs> unaweza toka hivi hapo <laughs> 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 msia sema wacha niangalie maybe asema achukue anything hapo mm-hmm. aenda afunge kwa bag yako apate hapo mm-hmm. ilikuwa hapo itakuwa ngori so so bag yangu ilikuwa nafunga hadi ukienda mahali ukumbuke tu unafunga bag yako itabidi rudi kama suspend kinyu ilikuwa nafanya ni kama zile umesahau pasi kwa stima eh <laughs> So ina video rudi kwanza ukuje umekisha ume lock bag yako na ufungue siko na ika chini. Ah uh, sasa kutoka hapo nikaenda nikaingia kwa bag yangu nikawa hizo down nikawatolea nikawaweke hapo. So vile niliwaweka hapo akaniambia pana hii haikai kwa hiyo. Nikamwambia mwingi online mu Google muone. Wakaenye wakaangalia wakaona ni RBS. Wakaniambia but adjai kukuona ukikunywa. Hapo sasa nikauliza ile ile ma times like after tusha kula mna ni uh, azini ile mbili after after msha kula unaenda nje unaenda ku brush so amujilizangi hii maji yote naendanga nayo kwa jag hiyo ni maji ya brush kweli so unajua sasa hii ilikuwa ni mbinu yangu juu uwezi kukunywa ndao ukiwa nao so inabidi umejifanya umeenda ku brush na unaenda na maji mingi ya ku brush plus ya kunywa dawa kaniambia yeye tulikuwa tunawananga lakini hatukuwa tunashughulika so nikamwambia so from there wakanyamaza sasa sijui hiyo kama ilikuwa ni kuheshimiwa ama ni kuogopa eh irrespective of vile nini walikuwa me conclude mainly appreciate because hawako niongelea vibaya if uh, at at the if if walikuwa na niongelea huko nje uh, at least haikunifikia na nilikuwa na enjoy that kutoongelelewa junaju unaona sasa hakuna mtu mwenye mwenye amekutenga so from there sasa nikaanza ku feel free cause at least hao uh, uh, sasa ni watu nakaa nao like na wajanitenga alafu unajua like if, if they were really impressing me for who my was jota hata tsema wakati mwingine unajua sasa hiyo woga ilikuwa imenitoka ikifika ni masangu wa kukunywa tsema eh, kunywa dawa mimi siko na woga ya kuendea dawa yangu hata times ilikuwa naambia msee akutole so wana kutolea tu mnacheka hapo na hiyo story naisha So kutoka hapo sasa shule yenye nasomo na Joseph ni huko ni kwa kwa masoso mm-hmm. eh, alafu pia na ya kanisa. So unajua sasa huko eh, etsemo watu wengi wenye wana etsemo watu wengi wenye wanasome huko they are from this is a well of family. Eh. So at times pia unapatanga kuna mtu eh, okay nseme mtu mtu akiwa that stage kuji involve na na sponsor sana inakuanga inakuwa ni kitu rahisi. So at times unaweza ona mtu labda asubuhi king ya shule unaona amekuja ku dropiwa na mtu mkitoka times maybe labda ni your cosmet like king ya class mningi hapo mkitoka mkitoka mtoka pamoja eh uh-huh. eh so unaona mtu like huyu mtu anamleta akai akai mtu akai mtu mwenye accredited na like akai mtu wa familia so definitely unaanza ku conclude huyu uh-huh. anaweza kwa labda ni Is, eh, li, 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 like hapo alafu unaona sasa hiyo age like your age difference pia mm. i make sense cause mtu mwenye anamleta is a too, too as in alikuwa too old kumliko unaona yeye haiwezi kuwa ni ile uhusiano ya kawaida so look na feel like mtu ni kama ana deal na, na sponsors alafu na just it sounds so awkward ku approach mtu ukimwambia eh hivyo venye una deal na sponsor si si kitu pa unaweza sema mtu ataona umembea baje so mimi nikasema i think mimi nikishare story yangu mtu tu anaweza sikia from nowhere i, si lazima kuja kuambie but mtu atasikia story yako na anze kuilet mm so hapo sasa nikasema i think nikishare hii story yangu it it will bring that impact so nikaanza ku share story yangu sasa from that time nikaanza ku share on, on social media and all that alafu pia nili nili appreciate because after after in share share story yangu hakuna mtu aliniongelea vibaya na wale watu nsema wale watu wachache wenye aliniongelea vibaya hata mimi siko na wajibu mtu unaona tu mtu mwenye ana kufollow ndio ameenda kumjibu pale like ni ndio alikuwa na understand eh 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 na understand love pia like ile ile una scans juni sio sio anaitanga ile umeka kitu hapo alafu mtu anakuongelea vibaya so instead ya mini response mtu eh eh ni respond eh mtu mwingine na anamrespondia so from then linjo as in likuwa na enjoy hiyo hiyo protection pia from from my followers then kutoka hapo unajua sasa mtu mwingine labda amekuja inbox yako na kuambia yeye ni merelate na story yako na imebidi nimeaje so i felt like i think sasa nikisha story yangu eh 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 it make that impact alafu pia nilikuwa na share story yangu kwa zile struggle yenye nilipitia hadi nikakuja kujiamini unajua sasa mtu mwingine akijiwanga hivyo kuna mtu mwenye ana give up in life like sasa maisha yangu imefika mwisho so you mean nilipitia hizo struggles hadi nimefika mali nimejaccept nimefika mali hata hata um 
ute me place yetu unaweza ongelea bila kuogopa hapo nikasema i think nikisha pia story yangu mtu mwingine atakao inspire down eh yenyewe yenyewe like um, irrespective of really lile watu umepitia life yako lazima itaendelea unajua pia mtu mwingine labda tuseme alikuwa job ama ako shule akikuja kujipata hivi unapata mtu mm-hmm. anasema ah, labda anaacha job ama aache shule jua naona sasa like hakuna haja ku work tena ama kusoma juu sasa at the end of the day au mm-hmm. taishi for long mm-hmm. so nilikuwa na jaribu ku encourage like unaweza ku infected mm-hmm. na still wizi, ile dreams yenye ulikuwa nayo before unaweza ku infect mm-hmm. unaweza endeleza kama ni kusoma unaweza soma kama ulikuwa kazi unaendelea na kazi mm-hmm. and all that acha tuangalie process kuna hiyo sasa between wakati ume 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 ume, ume, da, ume kwa diagnosed mm-hmm. and then when you realize and now there is a story of you getting into kukwenda kuchukua madawa mm-hmm. between that span how do you transition between knowing your status to mm-hmm. actually accepting to take uh, medication hapo sasa ndio nakuanga struggle. Mm-hmm. Alafu hiyo ukisha make that step utoke from kule kule kutojikubali mm-hmm. hadi ufike mali umejikubali ukisha make that step. Hapo mm-hmm. sasa life inaanza ku flow mm-hmm. Ju, it's, it's really a struggle. Unaje sasa mtu um, utseme, like unaanza ku regret utseme uliji expose intentionally. Mm-hmm. Sasa inaanza kukuma like I knew mm-hmm. but I went ahead and exposed myself. Mm-hmm. So uh, I I can't get this thing ya uh, bado na kuanga struggle unajosa maybe bado na jiblem una blem wenye alikufanyia hivyo mm-hmm. and all that but at the end of the day ukishaanza kujikubali unajosa in, 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 in ile times uh, it may be interact na watu unajua sasa mtu ana share story yake hadi unaona yenyewe una relate like story yake iko worse than mine mm-hmm. so from this unaanza kusema if mtu alianzia pale na ame grow like a sharp progress kutoka uko place alianzia mpaka amefika mahali amefika i think also i'm good to go like kunaanzia mahali uko na progress that fast ufike mahali mahali amefika mm-hmm. so kuji accept na kuanga struggle but ukisha ji accept everything comes to flow mm-hmm. so then in way like kuinswa kukubali kuchukua dawa ni mtu tuliongea naye okay the stranger that you talk with yeah julian mm-hmm. story yake mahali alianzia alianzanga vibaya kabisa but mm-hmm. Kafika. Y- y- kwenye tulimit na yeye mm-hmm. he was doing so good mm-hmm. so akani inspire like i- 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 jafika ile stage yenye alianzianga mm-hmm. i think hapa mali ni kwa m- i'm doing so well mm-hmm. na unaweza uka progress ufikie mali amefikia uh-huh. that is ja- okay your journey the way you brought out your journey looks like it has not been as, as, as challenging will transition with you because you accepted mm-hmm. the way it was mm-hmm. what are some of the challenges that you've had to bear with uh, as, as a person living with hiv right so. Okay initially sasa unajua sasa ni ile ile tu struggle ya kuji accept ndio ilikuwa the big issue to me. Mm-hmm. Alafu unajua sasa hizo vitu zote zilikuwa zinaletwa na na like whom um, uh, ili interaction ilikuwa nayo na watu plus pia mali umetoka. Ndio ilikuwa nakwambia um, unaweza imagine like you are the last born in your family hao watu wengine washa grow wamekuwa kubwa wazi rudi shule wewe tu ndio umemaliza high school ndio umejoin campus and then sasa unajisa ni family wanaanza kuangalia so unaona sasa like uh, yes umejoin campus but umeanza sasa kuleta mambo mengine it's like um, 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 ile 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 brightness yenye ilikuwa imeanza kuonekana kwako imeanza kuwa dim alafu unajisa watu wengine wanaonanga especially watu wa familia wenye wako so close tu wanaona sasa uh, like you sasa like imesha yako ni kama imesha juu na watu wengine hawako hawako informed sana mm-hmm. so ilikuwa ina nyuma as, as much as ilikuwa na ile ile kwa impressed um, like um, na watu wa familia still there was that thing hawako wananionyesha but ilikuwa na notice like mm-hmm. ili ili wa hit sana mm-hmm. so hiyo ni pi hiyo ni kitu nyenye ilikuwa ina ni ilikuwa ina nsumbua ile sasa like una una try kuwaonyesha irrespective of hiyo kuambukizwa nimeambukizwa i can still be whom you wanted me to be like i still have that career life na and all that mm-hmm. so hapo nilikuwa struggle sana so story na stigma sijapitia sana cause mm-hmm. our daughter wenye nilionge nao walikuwa na ni support mm-hmm. so unjapitia mm-hmm. stigma yes, how was how has it affected your relationship because you're a young man as well you you probably want to be in a relation how has it affected your relationship because uh, ukienda waambie mtu wenye ah ni kwa hivi uh-huh. what is the reaction have you told a woman like okay this is my status okay in, initially in, initially after after nilikuja kujua hali yangu isikuwa na hiyo hamu ya ya like it may be una uh, utakuja ku entertain to a, a, a relationship or something like that cause uh-huh. ile morali ya ku kukwa unless uh, bilikuwa imekutoka uh, yeah mm. hata ile interaction ni ya ile tseme mnakana ladies ku interact and all that mm. haikuwa kwangu cause nilikuwa na feel so bad mm. as in ukiona any lady it's like ilikuwa nimeanza kuwa hate mm. 
hiyo na imagine mwenye alikuambukiza ni mwanamke alafu yeah. sasa unaanza tena ku, kukuwa so close na mwanamke okay. like ilikuwa nawachukia tu hivyo but after nishaanza kujikubali sasa nikaanza tu kurudi mm. kurudi life yangu ya normal mm. then uh, ujisa alikuwa anajaribu ku imagine sasa ikifika time ni wakati wangu sasa maybe i want to get married or ama kuanzisha relationship itakwaje mm. so initially hiyo kitu ilikuwa nga ilikuwa ngumu kwangu mm. But after nisha kuja ku disclose nime open up it has been an easy journey for me jum kimi na mtu mna meet na mtu mwenye already anajua story yako so hakuna haja kujieleza yeah, uh, kujieleza that's yeah. why that is the, that is the upside yeah. of sharing your story <laughs> yeah. ukipata na mtu tayari hakuna story hakuna yeah, yeah, story tu mnaongea <laughs> kisha ingia box nyingine kuna story nyingine kando <laughs> yeah so, so i just affect mm-hmm. mm. so ujaona ya kwamba maybe kuna madem wanasema hapana eh, mimi na wewe hapana juu ya aina because of your status inile tu imebeen same mkiongea na mtu na asikubali okay unajua hata mtu mwenye yuko infected ukiongea na mtu isi lazima ati atakubali hata sana kata so at times ukiongea na mtu akatae unasema tu labda amenikata cause imebea uja meet expectations zake but yet ya vita it's all about my status yeah you wanna more just talk about more amengia more good morning morning to you oh you can be a microphone kidogo Mambo. Kwa sana. Uko fiti? Eh niko poa. Eh uh-huh. pole nimekuamsha sana mapema unajua uko kazini. Wala nimekukimbiza zaidi asubuhi. <laughs> That is good to see you. Ah uh, thank you. Uh-huh. Umesema watu waache kupima na macho. Eh? <laughs> 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 uh-huh. uh-huh. Watu waache kupima na macho. Watu waache kupima na macho. Let's go see you. Hope mm-hmm. you well. Thank you. I'm fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. How was your weekend? Uh, it was okay. Weekend ilikuwa fiti. Mm-hmm. Shughuli tu ndio ilikuwa mingi. Nini? Nasema weekend ilikuwa fit, shughuli ndio yeah, mingi. Weekend ilikuwa nzuri, shughuli tu ndio zinakuwa mingi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Asa tuanze na story yako, wewe ume, umetoka wapi? Unaitwa nani? Uh, mimi ninatoka Kisi County. Mm-hmm. Natoka Kisi ya Manyamira, I think zote. Mm-hmm. And um nime naitwa Dorin Mora. Mm-hmm. Nilizaliwa 28 years ago. 28 years ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. 8th of August 1992. Mm-hmm to a very humble family mm-hmm. as their third born child mm-hmm. uh niko min uh, niko na two elder siblings and a younger one mm-hmm. but he should have been five but huyo uh, mwingine aliaga unfortunately mm-hmm. so kwa sababu wenye tumebaki tuko wanne um nilizaliwa na virusi vya ukimwi oh okay to my parents mm-hmm. ambao hao mmoja wao haishi na virusi vya ukimwi ambaye ni babangu wako HIV negative na mamangu wako HIV positive so na mimi mimi na ndugu yangu mwenye aliaga pia tulipata HIV kutoka kwa mama yetu so ndugu zangu hao watatu pia hawana HIV so wakati nilipimwa niligundulika kuwa na HIV in the year 2000 na 2000 i think ya yeah, 20 years ago when i was 8 years old mm. and um my hiyo wakati akokuwa na HIV Kenya akokuwa na hope that watu wako na HIV wanaishi hata so mother kani akambiwa wakambiwa to hospital wakiwa na my dad wakambiwa we are not going to give you so much hope that she's going to live for the rest of her life mm. sisi tunampatia tu mpaka until kitu 12 years akifika 12 years 13 hapo atakuwa sawa but before that it is what i hope so you know 4 years you know 4 years yeah. uh-huh. so tukaka hiyo 4 years uh, so hiyo sasa unajua kuna dawa so at uh, my doctor they were okay kwa sababu they were okay to project it like that kwa sababu kuna tas no drugs yeah so uh, wakani tuka, tuka, tukaanza sasa tunaenda nini Uh, easy my check up na follow up kuna children some flani kapa kareni inaitwa nyumbani children so so hapo ndo tulikuwa tunaendea septrin sometimes wanatupatia so unajua walikuwa wanapata misaada kutoka ngambo so sometimes tunapatiwa unapata au watoto wametumiwa hizo supplements so mimi pia nakuwa beneficiary so at first walikuwa wanataka niende kuishi kwa home but madhe akakata Mm-hmm. Na dhaka sema najua ata die but sitaki ya die akiwa kwa children's home wacha tu ni akuetu home so uh, nikiwa home nika hadi nikakuwa baptized immediately tu vile nilimaliza nini vile nilimaliza vile nilitoka hosi about children's home sasa 
No 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 si si, si kuendanga children's home fully ah, nilikuwa nilikuwa na na nilikuwa discola huko kwa children's ah. home so huko so, uh, Nairobi ulikuwa umetoka Nyamira tayari mko Nairobi No 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 me I was born in Nairobi Oh you were born in Nairobi oh, But no. sasa after my brother died tuka have kuhama Ushago So sasa after nilisha pati, uh, bila tu my brother alikufa ndio tulihamia Ushago kwa sasa madaliona uh, mimi pia nitamfuata so hakuna haja tuishi Nairobi hiyo coast alikuwa na cut coast ya mazishi so ile ya kwanza ilikuwa ime coast a lot so akaona wacha tukae hapa karibu hapa hata kuita watu ni rais so karibu anunua mchele so sasa ikakuwa ni kuishi like tunangoja tu so tulikuwa tunatoka sometimes kisi tuna travel tunakuja Nairobi hapa nyumbani tunachukua dawa isoceptrin nafanywa check up daktari wanaona ninaendeleaje and then ninarudishwa tunarudi tena ushago so eh, one time wa ikakuwa strenuous cuz pia ku travel all the way to, to Nairobi every other month cuz hii ilikuwa on a monthly basis it's expensive so wakatuambia kuna facility mpya imefunguliwa huko ni Nyanza eh, mtaanza kwenda huko so tukaanza kwenda Kisumu so pia tukiwa Kisumu pia bado tukapatana tena na children so mingine tena ikataka ni kunichukua nika madhe pia kakataka sema ah, ah. waje tu tuendelee kungangana we are doing okay so far so tukangana tu eh, ikafika i think 2003 nikakuwa mgonjwa sana so vile nilikuwa mgonjwa that i think 2003 was my hardest theater tangu ni kwa diagnosed it was the hardest Twasi. so in 2005 madha akakuwa mgonjwa sasa no just this whole time madha alikuwa na status yake lakini yeye alikuwa anakunywa tezo septrin yeye alikuwa tu anaishi by the grace of god so 2005 akakuwa mgonjwa akakuwa in fact she was even in a coma for around two weeks so vile aliamka akatu akapelekwa nini akapelekwa akaletwa home cuz yeye alikuwa mpata tb alikuwa amepata pneumonia like she had a lot of issues so akaletwa home kukaka akaniambia sasa ni time to nikupeleke hosi so unajua i was already used to going to hospital so kwenda hosi kwangu iko kuanga big deal ilifika tu mali ni kazi zoea ulikuwa zoea so tu tu tukapeni tukaenda usi na yeye nika hiyo siku tukakaa sana sika ile tuko naenda tu hawa swana watu misharudi home so tuka nikapimwa nikapeleka sako daktari daktari akaniambia during kuna kitu nataka kukuambia na itakubadilisha kidogo lakini pia kuna dawa nataka uanze so this whole time nikimeza septrin siku ipenda septrin cuz hizo dawa ni kubwa alafu kuzi meza ilikuwa tu ina ni overwhelm so siku kwa nazipenda so wakati daktari niambia naanza dawa mpya mm. i was kind of excited cuz nilikuwa ah sasa sitakuwa na kunywa zile septrin so daktari akaniambia you are born with hiv ulipata from your mom na sasa uta have kuishi nayo for the rest of your life na pia utakuwa na kunywa hizi dawa zinaitwa ARV so to me it was a good thing mm-hmm. you are excited for the drug <laughs> I, I, but the very first time i was told i'm leaving the idea i was excited i was excited <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. madha kinipeleka ngahusi alikuwa na nini nulianga chipo kuku soda so ilikuwa guarantee <laughs> every month nitakula chipo mm-hmm. that was motivation enough <laughs> so alafu pia tulikuwa tuna travel and ulikuwa majua une nini ulikuwa majua cha vipi ndidi ama ulikuwa na chipo vega na chipo i think at that time nilikuwa to the positive effect but this kwa na ona ati ati ni health condition i i was just overlooking that part so uh nika nikachukuliwa nika, pia wakaniambia naanzisha naanzwa ARV hiyo team tulikuwa na ARV zilikuwa very colorful kulikuwa na two capsules So zilikuwa zinakaa supu sana by the way. So <laughs> I looked at them nikasema hizi hizi ni za manage. By the way the septin zilikuwa nga kubwa. I yani siku kwa napenda hizo dawa. Most of the time nilikuwa nazitupa. Mm-hmm. So ARV kuziangalia nilikuwa na kuna tungine tudogo kuna auto to capsule ziko very colorful. Ah mimi nikasema sawa niko tu sawa na hizi. So 
tuka nika si sami ni daktari akaniambia this is what you're supposed to eat akanipatia hiyo story za nutrition akaniambia but unafaa ku avoid stress nikamuliza sasa za human being unaweza avoid the stress akaniambia you will just try what you can handle you handle what you can't you just leave it ha huh? nikamwambia sawa so tukaenda home that time i was in class eight. sasa from one sikuweza kuenda from one boarding school zenye niliitwa kwa sababu nimeanza dawa na boarding school za Kenya na chakula Mm-mm. so mother kaniambia hakuna haja ya ku ya kwenda shule yenye ni boarding school utaenda nani atakupatia dawa alafu utakuwa na kula chakula mbaya so ka to home so nikaka home nikaenda day school form 1 so hiyo shule towards the end of form 1 wakaacha kukua day school wakakuwa boarding so Damn. Wana kuhamisha kwa lazima. So nikaapo tena ku transfer. Mm-hmm. Tuna nikaenda di school nyingine. So tukatoka sasa 207 uh, kuka hiyo nikiwa sasa form 2. Post election ika happen. Na sasa home kuliko tu ni boda ya wakali na wakisi. So mother kasema tuhame. So tukahamia Tala. Eh mliama kweli. So vile mm-hmm. tulihamia Tala. Sasa Tala hakuna day school ziko karibu kwanza the school za Tala zilikuwa mbali kuliko body. Mm-hmm. So tukatafuta the school boarding school ilikuwa tu opposite kwa barabara. Sa home ni side ingine na shule ni side ingine. Mm. So nikaenda huko. So this this a po challenge ya kwanza nilianzia kuzukiwa shule ulikuwa na fauambie matron mm. kama una uko na any health condition unamwambia I have a particular health condition eh, na unampatia dawa na unamwambia masaa una meza hizo dawa. Mm. So unajua ni ki, ki, kitu moja wakati niliambwa ni kuna HIV Mm. ni lembo usiwaambie ni body unaishi na HIV. Hivyo ndio uliambiwa na daktari. The doctor ndio aliniambia hivyo. Mm. But the kitambo when doctors used to do disclosure, mm. they used to tell patients don't tell anyone you're living with HIV. Because of the stigma? Because of the stigma. But I think that fueled the stigma even more. Yeah. So tukaka eh, mimi nsiambi mtu but sasa unajua hapa tuko shule na kuna hiyo requirement so tuka device away uh, tukiingia shule Uh, either babangu ama mamangu ananizindikisha wanaeka dawa kwa bag zao tunapata kwa baza ofisi ya baza ilikuwa kwa kakuna fulani so hapo mm. ilikuwa easy ku smuggle in whatever you want anakusunikia haraka wanasinwani so mimi mm. nikipita pale na searchiwa bag yangu ina anything ninaenda tunapata kwa baza ninasema nenda kuchukua receipt yangu ya fee na hivyo ndio story mm. sasa inaisha mm. so nika ni shule sasa ukiwa dom so unajua sasa ni ni shared spaces in boarding schools watu wanachungulia wanaona eh uko na dawa anulizizi dawa ni za mimi naambia ni za heart condition mm. wananiambia wa so unasikia ngaje mm. naanza kuambia eh sometimes i just feel weak kuna wakati na faint lakini siko i faint sasa wakiniuliza mbona rudi uko na ukifaint ni kwa sababu dawa zina control dawa ni zinafanya kazi But I would not take to stigmatize kwa kukuwa na heart condition. Yeah. So it is very easy to yeah. nini. Mm. So ni kuwa come up to na symptoms na wako like oh wo oh, ye. Yeah. Mm. Pole. So yani hata nikienda tu dining hall ni sema leo sisiki kukula chakula normal nataka kula special diet. Mm. Ninaachiwa tu ninaenda na chukua mm-hmm. special diet. Lazima uya kwa heart condition. Eh ni kwa na heart condition. So it was Na macho unako kupata na damu? No sasa si unajua tu atuko tunafanywa inspection kwa doms tuko tunafanywa tu inspection ukiingia okay, yeah, sure. So uh, na tulifanywa inspection once lakini nilivichanga hizo dawa. So azikupatikana ndani ya nini ndani ya box. So tuka nikamaliza high school. Kumaliza high school sasa unfortunately reality uko nje si kama wakati uko shule. Mm. Kwa ground vitu ni different. Ah kwa ground vitu zinakuanga tofauti mm. sana. Ukiwa shule uko cautioned uh, Musa wote mnasoma kama usomi uko home holiday so interaction yako na the rest of the world ni limited sasa kutoka nje challenge ya kwanza tukaanza ku nikaenda kufanya nini kufanya kuuliza my uncle mwenye alikuwa na work, na one of the media schools nikamuliza mimi nataka kuwa radio presenter akaniambia ah hiyo hauwezi kamuliza kwa nini nikiangalia requirements online uh, results zangu ninaona niko tu sawa akaniambia mm. that is not the problem problem ni utajulikana ukijulikana watu watajua uko na HIV watu wakijua mm. uko na HIV watakustigmatize hii HIV nafaa kukwesiri yako mm. nikarudi home 
na unaje sasa coming from a relative ina sound akaniambia tu ndio utafute kitu tu yenye agona mtata kujua mm-hmm. so nikarudi home nikasema acha ni achane na historia mimi dia uko nitajulika na sana so nikaenda shule nyingine flight school nyingine hapo ku apply for a house test kafika hapo mm-hmm. mama akaniangalia akaangalia documents ni walikuwa nataka ka requirement nikalipa mpaka admission fee guy so akaniambia unfortunately uwezi kuwa air hostess nikamuuliza kwa nini akaniambia kwa sababu before kuwa air hostess lazima ufanywe a physical test uh, interview na kwa hiyo interview they look out for uh, scars zenye zinaonekana na niko na scar kwa macho so akaniambia haiwezi wacha wacha nikwambie fanya tu kusia ground kusia ground hakuna mtu ataku disqualify but hii wataangalia tu you are scar just you are out eh nikasema sasa hii kitu nina feel ni kama inaanza kuni limit so nikaenda nyumbani na sometimes vile tu university inakuanga ni kama it's talking to you nikaona kwa news babu aloliondo anatibu kila kitu eh wa Tanzania wa Tanzania ukafunga safari sasa ah nikaenda kwa babu doliondo nikasema sasa i have made it nishakuwa sasa mimi na HIV bye so nika nini nituka nika convince mother tukaenda loliondo tukafikia loliondo tukakunywa kikombe ya babu babu akatuambia ana dawa dawa iko kwa imani yetu na imani tulikuwa naye baada ya kuona Tanzania ukaambia hakuna dawa kuna imani no ukutulikunya kikombe but the major ingredient kwa kikombe ilikuwa imani ilikuwa imani imani ni 100% alafu hiyo percentage nyingine ni 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 kikombe so tukakunywa kikombe tukarudi Nairobi so three months later madhe akaenda katestiwa akapatikana baada ya positive akarudi home akaniambia tuache twende turudi tukunywe madawa at least point atakuwa tunakunywa dawa so akaniambia rudini turudi tukunywe dawa mimi nikamwambia mm, labda ina take time mm. so yeye akarudi akaanza akaendelea dawa zake mimi nikaacha sasa labda imani itatosha <laughs> bado ongeza ongeza imani <laughs> kwa kikombe <laughs> <laughs> so tuka uh, nikienda ni kufanywa test yangu ya viral load uh-huh. ikakuja 70000 copies my doctor wakashtuka wakaitana kufanya consultation wakaniuliza are you sure unakunywa dawa kwa sababu a normal viral load ya mtu akokuwa ARVs inafaa kukuwa below 1000 in fact inafaa wow. kukuwa ta 50 lakini mimi yangu iko 70000 70 ni mtu hajawahi kunywa ya RV maisha ni mwake mm. like literally HIV sasa ina progress into AIDS wow. ikifika such a level so wanaulizana what is happening ni dawa zina fail ni kukua unakuwa ni, ni dawa zinakuwa resistant cuz you very low dose ifika this high kumbe nikikombe na imani mimi ni eh nikikombe na sio imani yangu bado iko tu <laughs> so nikaomba tani sijui nini na happen wakaniambia uko very sure unakunywa dawa nikamwambia kabisa kila siku wakaniambia sasa if it continues like this next time tuta have kukupeleka second line medication so kwa ARV tunakonga na first line second line na third line but you time time akukua na third line kulikuwa tuna first na second so nikajua kinipeleka second line pia nazo siko ready kuzikunywa <laughs> sitakuwa na any options so nikaacha kwenda hospitali completely sasa towards the end of the second year sasa nikapata sasa ni monia kali kweli kweli nikafura mdomo yani nilikotua literally na vidonda so nikapelekwa machakos level 5 mm. doctor nikafanywa matest 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 viral load sasa ilikuwa shapande kwa 120000 copies so na doctor sasa so doctor aniambia kwa nini uliacha kunywa dawa mimi mm. namwangalia tu kwa sababu sisi mwambeni lienda loliondo it won't make sense to him like medically ataniangalia nishangaa ya ajulize what is wrong with this person so mimi nikamnyamaza tu akanimea msichana hizi madawa hazitaki mchezo yenyewe unaifanyia so nikamwambia sawa nitarudi kuzikunywa but sio nilisema tu shingo pande kwa sababu nilikuwa nasikia uchungu na nilikuwa mgonjo so sikuwa nitaka kwa mgonjo so nika nikaanza kunywa dawa after kukunywa dawa nikaacha tena like after that nilikuwa tunakunywa dawa vile najisikia mm. kwani ulikuwa unacheza na dawa hiyo ama bado ulikuwa na imani ya loliondo no at that point i think nilikuwa nimechoka pia na hizi dawa na unajua by the times ilikuwa tazishabadilishwa si zile dawa tulianza nazo as years go by pia rvs zina change so uh, tukatoka sasa tukaenda tukarudi home mimi naendelea tu na dawa sometimes nakunywa sometimes sikunywi sometimes nawaacha hata one month narudi uh, and then 
uh, siku moja nikaenda tukiwa in, nikifanya internship nika tukaenda kutest watu huko side za kuna college nito Kinyanjui so vile tuna test watu watu wanakuja wanatuambia like watu waka disappear first of all the students in that school wali disappear mm-hmm. waliingia dance <laughs> yani yani muko, muko the whole day haoni watu lakini kuna watu mm-hmm. so tuka tukaanza kuambiwa si muende kwa classes zao muongeleshe so ukienda ukiwaambia hi uh, we're running a free visit in your school we want you to come and get tested wanasema mimi sijawahi fanya kitu mm-hmm. so unamwambia si about kenye umefanya ni tu, unataka tunataka tu juu status yako mwingine anakuambia mimi ne, najua niko negative Mm-hmm. Na mulza when was the last time you got tested? And asma sija why testiwa lakini najua niko negative. Mm-hmm. Najua. Najua like I am very sure niko negative. So that continued uh, the whole week too. Kila mtu unapatana na yeye ni ako tu na hiyo mentality ya wengine hata wanasema eh hey, mimi niende VCT eh Kenya inaenda kutafuta huko ni type mm-hmm. So that was the mentality basically among every other person. Mm-hmm. So tuka tukirudi kwa ofisi sab ndio sika tuuliza mnaona aje mimi nikasema watu wataki kujua status zao mm. wakan eh, bosa kanza wae nikamba sijui i think kuna tu hiyo phobia sijui kani phobia ama ni ni watu tu wako na lack of information because i can't really put one reason yenye inafanya watu wataki yeah. mostly ni myths and misconceptions ziko mingi mm. So akaniambia how about before when be mtu kujua utestiwe uanze na kumwambia story yako <laughs> we kona ile ngori sasa no oh, ni kama angalia unajua yeah. ni mdosi yeah. so nikamwambia mm, that is a good strategy uh-huh. that, that is a very good strategy you can use uh-huh. that uh-huh. sasa hiyo nikijua siwezi fanya kitu kama hiyo akaniambia go uh, sit write your story bring it to me uh, i'll try to work away around it alafu tuanze kunini tu, tuanze kuitumika strategy kwa the next outreach tunaenda nikamwambia sawa so nikaenda Mm-hmm. The first time nikaandika hiyo story. Ah ndiko na nikatupa hiyo karatasi. Nikaandika ya pili nikatupa hiyo karatasi nikasema hizi ni jokes na siwezi zifanya. So eh um, mdosi anashinda sana niuliza story yangu ninaitengeneza. In fact I am just trying to make it ndio mm-hmm. unapaka rangi kabisa. Ikuwe packaged well packaged uh-huh. nitakuletea. Sasa hiyo unajui muua mimi hakuna story yote <laughs> naandika. So one time nikisoma daily nation Niko na mama fulani alikuwa anafanya sijui ilikuwa story ya gender based violence huku mm. Kibra. Mm. Yeye nikasema lakini kama mama story yake iko kwa gazeti seta yangu inaweza kwa gazeti mm. and that is actually how I wrote to the editor and nikamwambia hi my name is Doreen this is my story na mimi nikaenda home. So nikiandika story at the back of my mind nilifikiria hata soma email yangu. Mm. Na kama ataisoma hata reply. Mm. So I was okay. Nikafika home Uyo mama akani text nikapata email. Mm. Uh, hi Doreen I just saw your story and I really want us to do a, an interview together. Nikasema we okay this is not what I was planning. Siko nimesema hivi. Iko kwa iko haraka hivi. At least ningeteka hata seven. Ngoja pole pole. So nikamwambia okay uh, ni sawa. So nika call Madhi. Nikamwambia <coughs> nikamwambia nini eh, ni kama nimeandikia editor wa Daily Nation nini eh, story na amesema anataka kuni interview akaniambia okay no problem waenda tu ufanye interview so nikaenda nikafanya interview at first walikuwa wamesema ni on print and then wakakuja kaniambia hawaye hataweza kuweka on print wataweka on online ah nikasema online hata ni better hakuna mtu atasoma see i was now very happy that nobody will know sasa unfortunately wakaishia facebook <laughs> Sasa vile walisha Facebook watu wakaanza watu wakaanza kunitag. <laughs> wow, wow, watu wanakuaribia jina come and sue them. Uh-huh. Awa watu hawajui <laughs> 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 vitu kwa ground wenye. Ni shida ya watu wa Kenya media ya Kenya this uh-huh. lady does not have HIV. Uh-huh. Eh nikasema hapa so nika nika deactivate Facebook yangu hiyo siku. Then nilikuwa nimefanya nilikuwa nimeacha email yangu at uh-huh. the end of the story. Uh-huh. So pale kwa email emails zikaanza kuingia emails zinaingia yani ni napata tu i got a thousand emails that day mm. everybody with a different issue mm. hey nikasema okay so we have an issue with the but then, when i shared my story 
my aim was just to share the story yeah. it was not about to create impact or awareness mm-hmm. it, i just wanted to share the story mm-hmm. but now it now came with an impact that mm-hmm. i had not even prepared for mm-hmm. so eh nikaangalia hizo emails nikasema wa okay now this this is this is hard and people were living in denial wengine wajanza madawa wengine they are in relation wengine wako in a marriage mm. na mtu anakunywa ARV kutoka kwa buti ya gari na anaingia kwa nyumba ni kama kuna kitu yote ime happen mm. na mtu hujui na mtu hujui partner wake hujui by the way mm. ni tu anafika home anembe maji lazima iko kwa gari yangu mm. so vile tu naingia tu hivi kwa parking mm. Ni ni meza ya Kwa kwanga na shida ya kiu. Kiu bila ndio kwa jamu za kwanza. Kiu ni mengi. Wengine wameacha madawa kwa desk za ofisi. So anaikunywa kwa ofisi. Na anaweka kufuli haraka. Eh. Mm. Anarudi home. So unajua home, home hakuna anga hiyo privacy hakuna hiyo safety. So kwa ofisi ni easier. Kwa ofisi yeah. tunaweza danganya watu ni vitamins. Mm. So Lakini unaweza pata mtu ana meza. Mimi nilee meza pitu. Ikiwa shule ndio endele. <laughs> Na mbele pain killer wana haya na leo So the, like it was is on those two little situations mm-hmm. but nika realize kitu moja ni there is a lot of stigma both mm-hmm. self stigma for among people living with HIV na stigma ya society mm-hmm. people who just don't understand uh, people living with HIV and people who say HIV sai si kitu sai tuko na maugonjwa kubwa lakini inge kwa si kitu 36 years later si tunge kwa tushanza kuiona kama normal health condition yeah. atunge kwa na watu wanadanganya ARVs ni, ni vitamin mm-hmm. so ni kaangalia ni kwa na eh, now this this scenario has a problem and now i need to start speaking about it so mm-hmm. sasa pondo sasa media interviews zikaanza kuja mm-hmm. So vile watu wakaanza so unaitwa media na naongea story na nini and now people kept asking me more and more and more questions and now sasa pondo sana kaanza ku raise awareness kwa sababu niliona tunategemea a lot what we know the, the the side that society knows about HIV ni the statistics side mm. they don't know the faces of HIV the people who live with HIV every day mm. in yawangoji at first december world aids day now yeah. this is us celebrating mm-hmm. people living with HIV they, they live with it every day mm-hmm. kila siku mm-hmm ni wakunywa hizo dawa hizo dawa mtu anasema utazoea ni kama food a a si food food unasikianga njaa unakula mm-hmm. dawa hausikiangi njaa ya dawa in fact unajangalia unaona uko very healthy unajiuliza kwa nini nina meza hizi dawa mm-hmm. lakini lazima umeza because that is to manage your, your that, that is how you're going to manage mm-hmm. your health mm-hmm. and ni realize watu wako na a lot of myths and misconceptions because from the beginning mtu anasema ati mimi niko na HIV lakini mimi ni carrier so una unashanga kari hakuna kitu kama kari cuz in the uko kitambo in the 90s kulikuwa na that term ya kari but sahi hakuna kitu kama kari because hizo time walikuwa wana kwa considered kama watu nyako asymptomatic when you uko na HIV yes but uko asymptomatic yes. but nowadays hakuna kitu kama kari either uko positive au uko negative hakuna hizi ati ni kama uko positive lakini ni kama pia uko negative, negative yeah. there is nothing hakuna like kama uko nayo uko nayo kama kuna uko nayo kama mm. hauna hauna mm. so uh, watu wanafikiri and then sometimes ni, when nikiongea uh, juu ya HIV mtu ananiambia eh hata ukai kama uko na HIV mm-hmm. so, ajama kupima na macho kuna maana kuna jamaa hapa ameuliza ati anauliza kama kuna daktari hapa amwambie kama ni makosa ku, kuwa na ndoa mm-hmm. na mtu ambaye uko na virusi ati tutaenda pale mm-hmm. lakini kabla hatujaenda hata sana mm-hmm. ndio tuambie story ya kupima na macho mm-hmm. ndio wewe uh, ufanye test what was the problem ulikuwa mgonjwa ama why did you go and decide to have a test why did they decide to take you for a test when i was diagnosed yes because that is how it its procedure it's mm. a who recommendation mm. before you start any patient on ARVs or or, or to determine kama kuna HIV or not lazima um test hata sasa hii nikisema nataka ku transfer clinic kutoka kwenye niko kwenda kwenye na mara ya kwanza the first time ama ilikuwa tayari inajulikana uko naye mara ya kwanza nilipimwa mm. nikiwa 8 years ikajulikana niko na kwa nini walikupima kwa sababu nilikuwa nilikuwa na opportunistic infection yenye na let okay. HIV okay. so wakase kuza kuku kwa na any other thing yenye inaonekana so they decided let us mm. test for mm. HIV mm. so waka test na ikatoka positive katoka positive yeah. now there's something you mentioned HIV and AIDS unasema kwamba kuna transition ya HIV to AIDS mm-hmm. is it ni vitu mbili tofauti Yeah, it's only mm. be little for HIV ni nini aso? HIV ni the virus. Okay. AIDS ni the disease. Mm. HIV is manageable by 
vitu kama ARVs. Mm. Na uki manage na ARVs you can live as long as any normal human being can. Mm. But AIDS ni ugonjwa. Mm. Haina ARVs za ku manage, haina dawa zozote, haina vaccine, haina it has nothing. So ukifika AIDS Uh, chances zako za kurudi kwa HIV zina kuanga very slim mm. na pia chances zako za kuishi zina kuanga very okay. slim mm-hmm. the people in kitambo wale watu walikuanga kwa zile billboards za ukimwi unaua ule kale kama mtu kalikuwa very thin na mm. kan, kana nywele na nini hiyo sasa ni aids hiyo mm. si HIV okay. the people in Kenya a, a majority of the people in Kenya are living with HIV and not AIDS uh-huh. so those are two different things uh-huh. ni vile tu inakuanga HIV stroke AIDS uh-huh. so people think you, that you can uh, be anywhere you can be any, but you can't uh-huh. be anywhere because uh-huh. ningekuwa na AIDS singekuwa this healthy uh-huh. yeah so at what point do you transition from HIV to AIDS w- wakati haukunywi dawa uh-huh. uh, wakati umekata uh-huh. like maybe you are uh, hii kama kucheza ya dawa hii ya you, you kama vile ulikuwa unafanya kutoka loliona unafanya ni kutoka loliona ukimeza imani sasa that that can easily trigger the unajua what ARVs do zina suppress the the HIV cells in the body ndio mm-hmm. zisi multiply because the more iso cells zina multiply the more zina progress ugonjwa so ugonjwa inatoka stage 1 2 3 so kifika stage 4 ni AIDS mm-hmm. so ukianza sasa hii mchezo ya unameza leo unamaliza 3 months unameza tena it progresses very fast to AIDS mm-hmm. na ikifika AIDS you start getting now opportunistic infections mm-hmm una sasa unaanza kupata pneumonia ina kugonga inside tb na kugonga inside nyingine meningitis na kugonga na hivyo ndio unadai mm-hmm. so aids as a disease does not kill but it invites opportunistic infections that kill you uh-huh. yeah inakufungulia sasa ina sasa ina it, uh-huh. because sasa immune system yako vanarabu. hata homa inaweza kuwa by the way once Aya. you have aids homa yeah come on cold because immunity yako it's so weak it mm-hmm. ata unajua the, the normal person and I've been a homa without medication in three days mm. but when you have aids now not hiv mm. when you have aids because what happens when you have hiv you have arv zako vizuri mm. pia homa una, una pona like a normal person mm. but ukiwa na aids it's hard because immunity yako ni so weak you've lost kuna it. watu unapata what there is something called cd4 cd4 cells mm. zikikuwa chini unapata kuna watu wanaanzanga na cd4 ya 50 akikuwa 50 madaktari wanamwangalia wanasema huyu tunamwacha tu Mungu. Mm. Kuna watu kutoka kutoka CD4 ya 50 wanapanda mpaka 1000 because wameanza kunywa dawa zao na, na wamejikubali. Mm. But the things that play it's not just about ARVs. Mm. It's about ARVs, it's about food nutrition aspect, it's about acceptance because mm. watu wengi hawaji accepting mm. ndio hii ya kukunywa dawa <laughs> kwa kwa boti ya gari mm. <laughs> na, ku, <laughs> na kuweka dawa unaenda una, una change nini box ya unaweka dawa mpaka kwa socks <laughs> <laughs> kwa socks au kwa box ya cold ya nini ya toothpaste unaibwaga hapo ndani unaingiza ndani mm. so utakuwa unatoa moja unameza sasa una, unaenda kusema una hii toothpaste yangu sio ishikuwa na mtu mm. lakini unajua si toothpaste hapo ndani mm. yeah eh. That's crazy. So the, that is the, so the first stage is HIV. Yeah. Ukipata hiyo mara kwanza ndio inaitwa HIV. Mm-hmm. Then sasa ukikuwa mgonjwa unaenda AIDS. Now what are the factors that transition you from HIV to AIDS? Now like living where you can manageable to the other end. So the factors that uh, actually transition you from HIV to AIDS ni when it's left untreatable. You discover you're living with HIV. You see people expect ukichapimwa test kwa positive uanze ku kukonda na kuluzu nywele but it does not happen like that hiv has a long incubation period in the body like inaweza hiv inaweza ishi kwa mwili wa mtu for 10 years na hajawahi sikia kitu lakini alipimwa na test ni positive na every time anapimwa test ni positive lakini mwili yake anaonekana tu ako healthy so why because mwili bado inapigana na immune system so immunity yako ina try kukupigania wewe tu ndio unataki kujipigania unataki kuipatia hizo nguvu iendelee kupigana so what happens is the virus keeps replicating itself na the, the more the years go depending with the vir- with your immune system as vile miaka inaenda kuna watu in 3 years time unapata washa progress into aids kuna watu in 10 years time kuna watu in 8 years time so it depends on the immune system ya mtu that is kwa sababu ya miaka tu kwa sababu ya anything else 
not really at kwa sababu ya miaka i think ni kwa sababu tu ya immunity system ya mtu so hawa ndio watu wenye sometimes upenda kujita carriers but si carriers ako tu na hiv ni ile tu aje treat so wakati hiv is left untreatable it definitely progresses into aids so lazima ukunywe dawa that is why arvs are there mambo ya kupima na macho tunaongea na zamba huyu ah kai kama ako na eh zamba kama mbaya mbaya wanaume unapata kana wao jamaa sana tukiwaambia mimi ni kwa hiyo nakwambia hapana mwanao ni kunyima umenyima mzamo kai most of the people wako hivyo because uh, sometimes wa partly ni na blame how we handled hiv as a country wakati ilikuja mm. tulieka the face of hiv kwe mtu anakufa mikonda ana hali nzuri ya afya mm. unajua ilikuwa stoa watu hii stoa ilikuwa kushtoa watu kwa sababu <laughs> so, so, ilikuwa no ma management ilikuwa ngori so na we don't we could deal na hiyo watu ni kuambia mazee hivi ndio utakaa ukiwa na mzee nywele imeenda ana nyenyewe hapana unaona sasa that is a bad way to handle a pandemic mm because hiyo fear ina making you watu wanakuwa na particular perspective of how it's supposed to look like mm. so sasa sasa hii kuna ARVs kuna watu wamekuwa on ARVs for over 20 years wengine even 30 years so right now ukipatana nao they are so healthy you cannot even start saying that this person is actually living with HIV so that is why sasa hii nikisema ni kuna HIV mtu anaingalia anasema ah lakini wewe uka yuko nayo kwa nini kwa sababu kila mtu alikuwa used na kupima mtu na macho mm uliko napata even in the villages watu wanaona eh siku hizi nani amekonda hata leo nani akonda kwa story hapa story ya kukonda hiyo kukonda actually ndio kila mtu alikuwa na yake leo watu wanakonga na story jacho anamwambia story high school nilikuanga mkonde sana was very thin so wakakuja kama majamaa yenu nyinyi mlienda at shule high school kupima watu so i was very thin then nilikuwa napendaka kunywa maji sana So every time nikona tembenga na jerican ya maji ile ya juice ile ya quinja ile kubwa ya almost 3 liters. Mm-hmm. Sasa kulipima watu, eh nikakuja nikakaa na stress hiyo kwa desk. Hiyo kasema si tuna jiwanga hiyo jamaa. Hii mm-hmm. lazima kabisa alikaja. Ndio na kwa tunao kwa kupima hii story. Yeah. So story ya macho watu mm-hmm. kupima na macho naye ni noma. Because I think that's what is killing us more. Mm-hmm. You know, wana wana wana, ah, just at the heat of the moment unaona mase ah if I da watu wanasema ngoacha ni kuve kijeshi. Mm-hmm. I mean uh, how how do you manage to deal with such people who mm-hmm. think that uh, you can actually see this disease your eyes wangalia tomorrow mm-hmm. wana mora na ka and it's supposed to look in a certain way mm-hmm. be someone who's HIV positive faka yeah, style flani mm-hmm. how do you usually deal with these people I try my best to tell people that HIV does not have a look but mm-hmm. unfortunately Kenyans still believe HIV is supposed to look a particular way so bad or that that face of HIV even when you google nowadays uki google to hiv images una pattern is a very sad thin people so i think we still have that notion that hiv nafa kukua ya watu nyo nakonda na wanakaribia kufa na ni hivyo but that is not how hiv looks like in 2020 we have people who are very healthy who are living very well very positively and they are on the ARV so mimi waambia watu hakuna laboratory kwa macho yako mm. wacha kupima watu na macho mm. ati huyu au uh, huyu akaiya kuna HIV hakuna mm. mtu mwenye anakaa kuna HIV hata uki hata ukifuata wapi hakuna mm. mtu yote anakaa kuna mm. HIV mm. yeah so watu wana you meet these guys wanyona kukatianga na wajui ni mora nani bani ade nini nini mhm eh wapo lakini most of the time okay kitambo i used to, to before now people knew that i'm actually living the hiv when i before i came out publicly nilikuwa nasema lakini watu wengi wako naamini cuz i remember this is a guy nilimwambia niko na hiv aka akaniambia ah, uongo unanidanganya unasema tu hivyo ndio kaunikatai so nikamwambia okay let's go and get tested tukaenda tukapimwa vile tulipimwa si hata tuliambia daktari wachana tu na maneno ya counseling Mm-hmm. Wewe tupime tu. <laughs> Direct. Acha <laughs> kunipotezea wakati. <laughs> Tuko na kazi mbele. Tukapimwa. <laughs> so vile tulipimwa ikapatikana yangu definitely ikatoka. Kwanza hiyo time atasikuwa na kunywa dawa. So <laughs> yangu ilitoka positive. Yake ikatoka negative. Sasa kutoka safari kutoka Ngong iliishia Halinga. Akaniambia wa ah, ni, ni, ni kuna, kuna kitu nafaa kumaliza kwa kitu. <laughs> Wacha niende ninarudi. So nikaniambia ingia tu hapa kijesi yes, takusikia kazi. <laughs> Lift Elisha Liga. Elisha Liga. Hata hivyo nikaanivumilia sana kutoka Liga. Kutoka Ngongo mpaka Liga. 
Lakini mulia mmoja kwa hata huko Ngongo Pima ama mulikuwa zaidi ya Ngongo. No, alikuwa ana work Ngongo Road. Uh, so tulipatana na yeye uh, somewhere hapo sijui ni jamu hapo uh, katikati. Njai kaisha hapo. Haya akasema hapo. Wacha tu wewe tutapatana na wacha kuna vitu nimekumbuka kwa ofisi na kwa kufanya. So I think bado kwa ofisi. So nikuulize mpaka wale bado wako na shughuli kwa ofisi. Yeye ujenga hizo jaribu siku nyingine. So The reaction on the face ya mtu kimwambia ina kwanga aje when you read the face facial reaction ina kwanga aje like uja mau lionaje uso yake wakati aliona hiyo definitely hiyo kunyamaza tu yenye alinyamaza vile tulitoka hapo kwa nini kwa VCT it's already spoke that this person is not okay with the status and a lot of people think that they're okay with a HIV uh, a positive diagnosis until sasa wakutenena waanze sasa kuangalia eh wane eh hapana hii i'm not okay with it ndio maana muambia mtu telling me uh, i like you despite your hiv status mm-hmm. that already is not uh, it, it is not a pick up line because in a way mm-hmm. unaona hiv kama barrier mm-hmm. Na at some point itakuja kuleta issue. Utaanza kuniona ni kama hakuna mtu mwingine ananitaka apart from wewe unanifanyia favor mm, and kwa wewe. Mm. Unaona? Mm. So and that is actually a, what a lot of people are going through nowadays. You find uh, people behaving like hakuna mtu mwingine anataka mtu anaishi na HIV apart from mimi. Of which that is not the case. I always tell people kama especially for people who are not living with HIV. Kama preference yako si mtu anaishi na HIV na you cannot look at the human but you always constantly have to look at the virus leave that person alone mm-hmm. kwa sababu mtakuja kusumbuana bure mm-hmm. and you it it will be something that you might end up uh, might end up making you a mean person in kwanza kumkumbusha ambe oh hata nilikuchagoa na ulikuwa hivi hivi hata hata hakuna mtu mwingine anakutaka na uko na ukimwi wewe hata na hiyo ukimwi yako unasumbua tu hapa na hakuna na kwa utulia tulia upendwe wacha kusumbua watu like the, the minute hata mtu ananiambia i like you despite your hiv status ni no na limitation yeah. and your limitation because that is already a limiting word yeah. despite is a limiting word so huyo ninajua huyu at some point tutakuja kusumbua huyu atashukia linga atashukia linga sasa ni kuuliza mara let's talk about stigma okay. have, you, have you ever come in, in, in contact with stigma like uh, have you ever felt stigmatized the i didn't the, even go to that the reaction on that guy's face what does that tell you about what people really think about hiv it ukiona tu venye mtu ana react ukimwambia niko naye as in lazima tu unacheka kwa roho kuzema moja ma not even that as in what does it tell you about even nowadays when i post on my social media unapata mtu anasema eh ningekupenda lakini ninaogopa mdudu first of all the fact that tunaita hiv mdudu na ni mbona do you see like it already comes with this stigma tied to it like it's default that HIV ni mdudu and most of the terms at at our native languages they don't they describe HIV in a very stigmatizing way so you find that there is a way people think that HIV is for particular human beings mm. and HIV ah you ni gonjwa kina dorin si ugonjwa yetu sisi sisi Uh, sisi ni watu tuko tu sawa we were called and chosen to be hiv negative mm. so unfortunately that is not how hiv works mm. because hiv ni ugonjwa ya human beings mm. na inaweza pata anybody mm. and in fact when you are hiv negative uko kwa a risk ya kupata uko na 100% risk ya kupata mm. hiv so what you need to do is overlook the the, the virus because we have people who uh, discriminate kwa virus mtu anaangalia anasema ah mimi ni ni kuna mtu kuna ah niacha watu wasichana wote huko nje wenye wako negative ni kuja kujit mtu wako kuja ukimbizana na haiwezekani unaona so the, the the society bado 36 years later after we uh, our, after HIV first came into Kenya we still have that notion that tuko like to kuna a way to na passive hiv and because of uh, the highest rates of uh, of uh, transmission in hiv ni sexually unapata watu wanaangalia tu hiv wanasema ai ah ah these are people who are sleeping around the minute somebody asks you how how did you get hiv you say you were born with it anasema ai wewe ye pole wewe haukuenda kujitafutia hakuna mtu yote uenda nga kujitafutia hiv <laughs> You can't just go and start searching for it at HIV ko api there's not work like that so 
the thing is people still have a notion about hiv people still are uh, stuck in the myths and misconceptions of hiv more than about what hiv really is so mm-hmm. the problem is not even hiv the problem is people's notion about hiv mm-hmm. and uh, it is time what wanze kuangalia that hiv ni ugonjwa tumelearn kuishi nayo all through these years now what wenye wana watu wenye wako na hiv ni watu wenye they are amongst us the 1.6 million people living with hiv are our brothers our sisters our colleagues our relatives ni watu wenye tunasalimia nanga nao tu kila siku lakini haujui wako nayo so it's time we start looking at hiv as a normal health condition and not a sexual health condition or a condition for people who are promiscuous or you see because there are other sexually transmitted diseases that don't have as much stigma as hiv does Yeah. And there's something you mentioned about uh, not a story ya kuambiwa tio huyu alienda katafuta mali alikuwa ma, wanafanya malaya mm. all these other things. Yeah. The question is and there's also that thing of maybe ukikata what time tio tukika hivi mm. ati tukitoka hapa tisi wote wenye tukapa tutakuwa na HIV. <laughs> and that's why you find it even in a kwa ngumu for people to manage families when yeah. a family member is discovered to be HIV positive. Mm-hmm. Family member struggle with it. Ukiona yeah. mtu kwa barabara unakula kona. Ni mambo ni growing up actually to be very honest. Ni growing up uh, kulikuwa na this the neighbor past. Mm-hmm. I don't want to mention where I come from so that mm-hmm. it's also I don't stigma to the family yeah. but so there was this mama alikuwa tulikuwa naambia mkimuona mm. kula kona so alikuwa tukichunga ngombe tukiona anakuja pale naingia kwa shamba ya mahindi we disappear because we do used to have to kimsalimia utapata hiv and all that yeah. and we find that the people like you know who are born with hiv mm. the people maybe alipata kwa hospitali mm. ama kuna watu maybe something just i mean you can never trace yeah. like our friend here hata alikuwa na alikuwa na situation yake alipata kwa situation ship yeah. you know the thing is There's that narrative that's driven around people mm-hmm. like ukisalimia mtu mwenye akona HIV ndio mm-hmm. ushapata ama ukikaa karibu na yeye ndio ushapata mm-hmm. maybe uki tukikaa kwa room moja this and this mm-hmm. i mean how, how how do you actually get HIV what are the different forms in which someone can can get can can, can pick HIV AIDS so H- the major mm-hmm. way of uh, getting HIV is by having an protected sex by a person who is living with HIV and not on treatment mm-hmm. there is a reason why i may explain that further living with hiv and not on treatment mm. uh, we have mother to child infections mm. when unapata ni mama kama mimi sasa nilipata kutoka from my mom mm. we have uh, people who sh- inject drugs mm. most of the people who inject drugs wengi unapata wanatumia shindano moja so ni from wanashare tu kwa sababu hawana resources za kwenda kununua shindano mpya mm. i know that kuna some organizations zinawapatia new uh, needles za ku inject but most of them iyo niniki washika wanataka ku inject your drug they honestly don't think about the repercussions mm. so those are other people who are very highly at risk uh, unapata kuna blood trans, uh, transmission ilikuanga mm. but nowadays it has gone down because of how highly blood is a uh, is a screened mm. so it is a form of hiv trans, uh, transmission but it's very minimal si kama hizi zingine tatu mm. and uh, yeah i think those are the only three Yeah. So see at see at lazima ikuwe ni mtu maybe amelala na watu amefanya nini kwa ukimwi. So tuachane hiyo jinga ya kusema ati yo ukiona mtu huyu alikuwa mangama alikuwa anafanya vitu zake. Alright. So you mentioned about the way vile ulipata HIV by a friend also ametuambia na alikuambia kwamba alikuwa na resentment. Yeah. Alikuwa na ile uchungu ya kwamba mtu ameamua kuniua you know deliberately and all that. You mentioned that you're born with HIV AIDS. Has it affected the way you look at your parents? Has it affected the way you look at your mother for instance? Has it affected the way you look at this? I mean what has been your feeling all along? Do you carry any resentment? Honestly no, I don't carry any resentment because that when wakati nilikuwa na disclosure that is one of the things I was told. You got HIV from your mom, but that it does not mean that now you have to look at her like she is the one at fault here. Because mm. she could know. Yeah, yeah, hata akinipa aki wakati alienda kuni deliver, she did not know that I was that she was living with HIV herself. Mm. So honestly, you can't really put that on her because so as i know most of the time as it's a human being impulse to nataka to blame somebody yeah. we pin it on someone mm. but then you know pinning it on someone won't take the hiv away yeah. the infection has already happened it has already happened a lot of people come and uh, actually tell me they want to sue the person who infected them but you see there it's a little bit complex than just going to the HIV tribunal and saying hey so and so infected me with mm-hmm. HIV yeah. because uh, lazima ulizwe before that did you know your HIV status yeah. uh, 
within the six months you were dating, how often did you date? Uh, did you test for HIV? So kuna spectrums mingi ambazo it's not that easy that you just walk in there and say hi so and so infected me with HIV. Mm. You will be scrutinized mbaka to mwenyewe uone eh it is not you know so that is why i always tell people kama uju status ya mwenzako use a condom kama uju status ya mwenzako use prep medication could you prevent from hiv infections ensure that unajua status yako ya hiv unapata mtu alipima 3 years ago lakini baada na assume kwa negative maybe 3 years ago ilikuwa kwa window period na ulikuwa asymptomatic na huku kura jua ukipima you see so don't just assume that just because the test came out negative then you're negative for life a hiv negative status is just a 50% chance of you being negative or positive so usiwahi assume that for 3 years sasa unasema mimi sitawai nini niko tu sawa there is nothing like that Some people even get uh, HIV kwa accident scenes. Yeah. Unapata ni si, magari zimegongana kuna mtu hapa alikuwa na HIV, mavio zime fly about you get infected just like that. Mm. So it's not about the sexual form of uh, transmission. And nowadays vile tunaenda hata sexual transmission at some point itakuja ku reduce because now we have ways of preventing it. Mm tuko na prep medication tuko na treatment as prevention where unapata mtu na kunywa ervi zake vizuri na kwa detectable hawezi transmit hiv sexually to their partner who is not living with hiv but so you know na as time is going by even the spectrum of hiv infection through sex is in a reduce so ni sisi tu to get informed to take to be responsible for our own uh, health because as much as you want your partner to be responsible for your health we were peers you have to meet somewhere with this person you don't just go and say he he anajua kuna hiv na hakuniambia but then nobody owes you their hiv status a lot of kenyans seem to think that if somebody is living with hiv then they have to be like dorina and come out publicly and say i have hiv mm-hmm. but people choose to live with hiv differently yeah. mimi nitachagua i'm living with hiv and there is nothing na nitakunywa dawa zangu na sitaki kuambia mtu na hiyo si hatia That is my way that is even yeah. nimechagua kuishi na HIV. Mm-hmm. Mtu mwingine atasema mimi nataka kuambia kila mtu niko na HIV na that is how I have chosen to live with it. Mm-hmm. So how you choose to live with it is not really it's not really necessary. But the responsibility you take as long as unakunywa dawa zako vizuri you don't owe anybody an explanation mm-hmm. at you. Mm-hmm. I am living with HIV or not. HIV ni yako mwili ni yako exactly. kila kitu ni yako. So mtu anakusema dionge niambia. Anaanza kukwambia ho unajua mimi hizi sidini na kuanga na 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 allergies. Kuna allergy. Hiyo ni responsibility. And that is not on you mm-hmm. because they have chosen that nini the people who are just love shortcuts mm-hmm. for some reason. Mm-hmm. So if somebody takes that choice they should not come back and blame you that ulikujua uko na HIV na ukuniambia. Mm-hmm we yeye mwenyewe alifanya nini because the is preventable iko na choices mingi sana za ku prevent so yeye mwenyewe as an individual mm-hmm. alifanya nini mm-hmm. yeah. so have you met these guys ambao wanakuambia hey mora nakutaka na ina hata kesidi yeah wapo mm-hmm. yeah so how do you do with such a person okay some of them think that wengine uh, uniambia that wewe ni pati tu hiv sisi wote tuko positive mm-hmm. So ndio tuendelee sasa. Usiendelee kuniambia niko naye tuko wote. So you see mm-hmm. and now that still goes back to HIV education because mm-hmm. saa hii mtu wa kwa detectable is ku infect. So mtu akishakuja that is an ignorant comment by the way. Mm-hmm. Na saa hii kuna prep, anaweza yeye anaweza kunywa prep na imzuie kupata HIV. But mm-hmm. ni wewe ni pati kupati hiki tu. Tuendelee. No. Ala kero na ume bana. Eat of the moment. Unasemanga stay kujua leta hiki tu. Bro, boy, nikuulize. Mm-hmm. Wanaume kununua condom. Mm-hmm. Wanaume kununua condom ni kazi ngumu sana. Mm-hmm. Na naa chemist hivi unaenda unasema ama kwanza unaona hivi. Utakikuja. Hana kuna watu unaona unatoka unasema ni pepe hana ndoni. <laughs> unaenda kwanza unazunguka unarudi tena unapata kitu mwingine unasema eh, ni kwa ndaka hino. Mm-hmm. Yaani kitambununua condom mm-hmm. ume, umeenda chemist na mara 11 mm-hmm. ya 12 ndio unatoa unaweka kwa fuko unapotea. Mm-hmm. Even when Morris talking about using protection. Do you think men in Kenya uh, there's a, there's enough uh, sex education on actually how to prevent yourself and take care of yourself unapata ngono mbona struggle na ngono goodbye sita kuta kurata mimi mwenyewe kutunua ni kwa ngori ba na ndivyo nazunguka supermarket unaenda ukiona karibu na till au unakula kwa na tena unaenda utafuta mafuta i mean so how how do you what do you think about the fact that men actually struggle with with, with protecting themselves na hiyo story pia kusema at the end of the moment you unataka unasema ah wacha ikuwe venye itakuwa ni pay kitu Okay, 
hapo hivi ndasema i think um, um, i most men sijua na kuanga naive ama wana kuanga ignorant juu hizi vitu zote wanajua si ati hawajaambiwa ama hawajaona mahali hii information yote iko e but hapo unapata mtu tu like um, ana ignore tu wanajua this thing is real but still ana ignore nasema acha tu niende nijibambe so uh, um hiyo kukuwa naive ndio imekuja imearibu ime, ime, ime na ume wengi ama ina wa cost juu unajua sasa una ignore una unaona sasa mtu tuseme like her yeye yeah, venye yako unaona tu like hako na hizi na zile vitu zote mwanaume anaangalia mm, mali safi jamaa anasema <laughs> so inafika mahali tu unasema anasema let me die hero <laughs> <laughs> alafu unajua pia another thing mtu tuseme akimwangalia anasema yeye yeah, alizaliwa nayo na anaendelea vizuri yeah. so mtu anaweza sema tu hata tuseme maybe ni lale na yeye an infect at the end of the day jo anaendelea vizuri inamaanisha pia like Uh, as in hata ni aribia life unaweza tu uh, like after your infection unaweza kuja kuendelea na maisha ya kawaida yes it is true unaweza kuja kuendelea na maisha ya kawaida but that guilt ile kitu tu unajua in wewe mwenyewe ulienda ukafanya intentionally mm-hmm. it ita, ita, ita ku hound na ndio ita ku cost mm-hmm. as, as in ita ku aribia life kabisa cause um, inaweza fika mahali ukimuona ama tu ukianza ku recall like na nilikuwa najua tu na nikaenda hivyo hiyo mm-hmm. kitu itakuja ku hound sana mm-hmm. so it's all about you being responsible about yourself mm-hmm hizi vitu tuache kupima na macho. Sasa hiyo miote imeisha. Miote kisha sasa ndio unaanza kujua hii. Eh ndio unaanza kujirudia. Umbe. <laughs> so it's all about being responsible about your life. Uju uko tu sawa like uju umekisha tu like umeji protect. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, uh, juu at the end of the day ukikuja kuambukizwa ama taishi na yeye ama ama like mtashia life no it's all about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tunafanyaje wanaume ndio waku, wakuwa na roho ya kunua kondo? Nikutumao majamaa wangu pasa iko na watakuja watakuja watazunguka mpaka jioni. <laughs> Wataenda kununua na giza usiku ndio kesho waniambia. Said kwa tuma mchana atiende na hapa president mwaleta kondo. Ah wataleta hapa majamaa. Ah wewe leta. How do you mean there is not buy condoms? Hapo hivi naweza sema tsemelewe umeamua utaenda kubai. Usiende kubai tu zenye unajua utakuja kumaliza stock. Ununua mpaka stock. Ununua stock. Ununua mpaka mpaka ya dry days. Juwezi jone jo mtu anaweza akasema ama tu ile ile tu tuseme ulikuwa mahali you meet with someone unasema haya mpitie home. But don't you think how do we encourage men? Yaani to normalize. I mean normalizing buying condoms. Isn't to normalize working for shop during the day and saying I want condoms. Okay hapo siwezi sema labda kuna kitu naweza mwambia mwanaume mpaka aone ni kitu ukienda kwa shop unaenda unaenda kubai it's all about like wewe umejo ni responsibility yako ya kujiprotect hapo mm. utaona kitu like uwezi ona ni, ni, ni ngumu uende uende ubai hizo hizo nini hizo hizo protective gears mm-hmm. so it's all about you ujue it's your life na from there wanze tu kujipanga if ni stock which quest stock ya kutosha uko nayo kwa nyumba mm-hmm. ama pia akikuja unaweza mwambia akuje nazo unajua it's, it's not all about me oh dema na nuanga rais ya najua kuna nuanga madema yeah it's all about your life is yet mm-hmm. lazima ni wewe ndio una una hey, madema usikie mtu mliange zile so unaweza mwambia akuje nazo hivi unajua uwezi enda kubaya ma ile place ni una bangi naweza kwa labda umeenda uko regular mpaka sasa na sasa watu ni desire so unaweza basha na wewe ni ule hatari ungekuona lazima huyu amekuja kwangu unaambiwa ile kawaida. Lakini kama ni game boy amekuja kwenu. Lakini kuna vile wanafungana pia. Kama watu wanauza pia wanaogopanga hii kitu. Na vile wanafunga wanafunga na gazeti wanafunga wanafunga wanafunga. Nafunga mpaka inakuwa hivi na kitu iko ndani ni kadogo. Na ni kosa za problem. Kuna kondomu za free. So did Liliana ngine alikuwa amevaa kama earrings. How do you How do you help men to buy condoms as well and to no, and normalize condoms protecting themselves? for that reason. Mm. For because okay, condoms are the most stigmatized I think uh, prevention measure I have ever met. Yeah. Unapata mtu tu, yani tu vile umesema somebody anaangalia uwezi nuno condom na kibiriti, mtu anaona eh huyu anataka aende kwanza apike kwanza. <laughs> So basically you can't yani hauwezi kuna hiyo the hard part of like normalizing condom but the thing is as a society sex is still happening in our society that's true that's we are still seeing at a say already we are seeing the teenage uh, pregnancy crisis that we have as a country so which means that we are not up taking protection at all so There, that is why kuna free condoms 
and in major major towns kuna kwanga kumekuwa dispenser ya kanjo yenye basically unaenda tu so unaweza enda utoe tu zikiwa mingi uzirol uweke kwa nini kwa bag for for future use mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. because at least you know you don't have to go through the embarrassment of buying them in fact the reason why they are actually offered for free mm-hmm. ni so that to to encourage the uptake yes. but still even when there are free condoms available bado kuna hiyo hardship ya encouragement of nini mm-hmm. of uptaking the condoms yeah. And because a lot of uh, most of the time unapata that condom use is highly encouraged and your it protect against the um, HIV infections and planned pregnancies and other STIs because prep in a pr- protect HIV peke yeah. yake but condom ni triple protection mm. so unajua hapa mtu wako sorted kabisa but the thing is utajipata maybe cuz kama utapata hiv utapata kutakuwa na mimba involved kama utapata mimba kutakuwa na STIs. na stis yeah. na ama upate zote tatu upate zote all cell all upeo package sasa <laughs> nikuulize kuna mtu amemention prep what is prep na prep medication ni nini inafanya kazi vipi na unaweza pata wapi na okay. at what point do you take because there's also the possibilities of abuse you go to maybe una meza prep because you feel crazy with the class what okay. is prep so prep ni a hit an arv Mm. medication that it's used to prevent hiv it's taken by hiv negative people who are at risk of getting hiv mm. uh for example sex workers mm. uh men who have sex with men mm. long distance drivers hawa watu wenye wanatembeanga eastern central africa yote mm. uh and discordant couples mm. So, and people who are in multiple sexual relationships or kama tuseme tu watu wa Nairobi kwa sababu watu wa Nairobi we so watu wa Nairobi kitu watumeanga ai watu wa Nairobi wana kuanga kwa relationship ka kumi na zote ni stable so hiyo ndio wanazitumia <laughs> wanafanya combination na kitu so those are the people who are actually encouraged to take uh, prep because prep prevents them from getting hiv na it's called in full in a pre exposure prophylaxis mm. you take it seven days before having unprotected sex so and mm. for as long as you are in a relationship no for example this is a sex worker <laughs> ini kazi anafanyanga kila siku oh yes so ana okay probably during the week atapata clients wenye utamwambia sawa we can use condoms we can use you know but then kuna clients watakuja waseme mm mimi nitakulipa 15000 lakini wachana na katambe katambe you see so for those type of clients ukipata unapata maybe anaanza tu kuzikunywa beforehand uh-huh. unaona yeah. just Every time in case to management management tu uh-huh. hapa katikati tu ni kusema ah ah mimi ninataka tu cd uh-huh. you see uh-huh. anaweza hata danganya kuna hiv along the way ndio uh-huh. siku saba uh-huh. zake ziishe uh-huh. and then dawa iku effective so after that she she or he is able to have an protection uh, no again. so after seven days and in the layer like ah. effect effect effectiveness in answer in seven days but ana in the layer you see so ana in the layer for as long as ako in that business lazima endelee kusoma so every time lazima umeza every day every day ni kama tu unameza yarvi si tu tu unameza yarvi mm-hmm. au sasa pia wanameza yarvi yenye si ya si ya watu timu ni ya ni ya so si ati ni kitu natumia other instances like sasa nikitaka kwenda na yemora mm. na meza alafu tunaenda no no mm-hmm. sasa 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 ndio wameleta injectable yenye itakuwa sasa instant Okay. So injectable uh, okay itakuwa i think approved in a year or six months time from now. So una injectiwa inaka kwa mwili for eight weeks. So ina ku protect for eight weeks. Mm. Na uzuri wa injectable inazuia watu wenye wako au at risk mm. kupata nini infection haraka kwa sababu unajua watu kuchoka mm. niko negative alafu ninashinda tu nimemeza madawa unaona mm. so they, they like hiyo mm. pill fatigue ndio wana try ku inachosha eh, inachosha mm. so they they try as much as possible mm. not to so even the people who are using it will use the same thing unaweza pigo injection the, uh, no 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 you oh, cannot take the injection kwa sababu wewe unakunywa oh, yarvi mm. but the the thing the reason why the people who are negative are encourage to use a prep ni wa prevent to hiv infections na wao ni kwa sababu sasa yani tunataka tu minimize new infections so ah. ni kwamba to this negative people hey try as much as possible to just take this medication so sasa when the injectable comes and actually this medication is free but it's only in hospitals i was the end up a chemist who semeni nataka prep yeah. it's not sold in any yeah. chemist mm-hmm. so yani lazima ndio wende uchukue dawa lazima kuna na mtu umeamua kabisa because lazima lazima kusema wewe sio yeah. <laughs> yeah. lazima upimwe mm-hmm. 
uonekane uko negative na pia lazima ufanywe some other blood tests mm. ndio zi blood works zingine ndio uonekane how itaenda ku affect ama una any other underlying condition yenye itaenda ku affect uh, the side effect ya prep kwa mwili yako mm-hmm. so that that is why inapatikana specifically kwa nini there is some activism and advocacy going on around the medicalization of prep to trying to make it available kwa chemists mm-hmm. So let us wait and see if that is ever going to happen because okay. so far kuna kitu yenye si ni impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kwa hii condom uh, condom behavior. Mm-hmm. Unajua nikipata na mara ya kwanza mm-hmm. leo yes I can use a condom. Mm. Lakini after two or three times I'm ah you to mezoana <laughs> naanda kupiga hiyo. Then so how do you deal with this thing the, the, the culture of laxity man like okay yeah you think too you mapatana na yeye ndio siwezi kuamini then the more I have sex with you I feel like ah why you go so so to each other. You know the, the commodity in sex is trust like how na kona na kwa mimi hiyo tumefanya hii moja mbili tatu acha tuende sasa boy how do you deal with that what do you tell what would you what would you tell a man or oh men look at it that way because men are the most uh, the, the ndio victims wa hii na ndio pia wapindi hata kupima for hiv mm ni ndio wao wakusema ah wewe si kwani hauni trust mimi niko clean na wewe ninajua uko clean ninakuamini mm-hmm. you see hizo ndizo vitu zitakufanya ukunywe ya review for the rest of your life mm-hmm. it is that simple that moment you're saying kwani hauni trust unapata huyu mtu mm-hmm. for the following day na amkana akwambia by the way nimekuwa nikikunywa ya review for the last five years mm-hmm. una panic you see mm-hmm. so for it's it's just all about behavior change mm-hmm. i know we just want to cut corners most of the time and we, but say we are living in a world kwenye kuna magonjwa mengi just mm-hmm. it's your responsibility corona, you know, mm-hmm. it's your responsibility but they, it's this is all about personal responsibility it's not even about at at uh, the person told me uh, the person looked healthy to me no mm-hmm. it's all about personal responsibility how responsible are you how willing are you are you uh, to protect yourself from yeah. hiv mm. do you look at your partner and tell them hey let's go and get tested na pia kuna wengine watakwambia mimi nataka tuende tutestiwe hiv ukikubali anasema huyu hana watu wanakonga na yeye akubali ingeleza unatoa unasema ndipo alafu unasema hapo unasema ah hiyo kwa sawa unarudisha kwa mfuko unasema natumia next kuma hapo ndio umejomeka so you see so it's not about and if, and especially because nowadays you can't know that my partner has just one partner unaona kuna because I remember the the Zile campaign ya ABC abstain be faithful use a condom mm. that campaign failed because it lacked practicality mm. na full implementation practicality in a way that in 2020 mm. unapata you can't tell a 12 year old to be to abstain mm-hmm. anataka kukuambia niambie nje yenye sitapata hiv mm-hmm. usiniambie story ya kwacha na hiv story ya ku abstain <laughs> usiniambie ni hata na hiv yeah how uh-huh. don't get hiv so uh-huh. you tell them abstain if you can yeah. if you can't use a condom or be faithful to one partner but pia hata yuko faithfulness nayo pia watu wa Nairobi wameanguka mtiani so <laughs> kidogo it's it's actually becoming harder because the more the world is evolving the more people are learning ndio maana nilikwambia fighting a pandemic using fear never works people find ways of adapting wanapata defense mechanisms no Kenya bila wamekula maisha ngumu wanazo yanga hii unawatisha siku mbili wazaa mbata ikitoa iwange haraka kuna mtu amesema hapo so guys amara i told uh, prep works so as uh, works so as long as you take the drugs for 72 hours even after exposure yani nikinala na mtu wa suspect and take drugs for 2 hours after it as happen i'm good can you clarify that is not prep that is pep Oh, hiyo ni kazi ni ya prep. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> na mama moja, lakini kazi ndio. <laughs> yeah. No, kazi ni moja. Mm-hmm. Kazi, okay, so for example, if you have a uh, unprotected sex with somebody. Oh, oh as, hii ni pre-exposure na post-exposure. Na post-exposure. Oh, so okay. pep ni post-exposure. So asubuhi mm-hmm. amke akwambie mimi by the way niko na na, na virusi. Mm-hmm. So uh, within 72 hours ukienda hospitali mm-hmm. utapimwa utapewa pep ukunywe for 28 days lakini lazima iko within 72 hours mm. after 72 hours it won't be effective so that is that is the difference between the two of them mm. so prep unaikunywa before unakunywa for as long as uko exposed kama nyinyi ni discordant couple mna try kupata mtoto the negative partner anaweza kunywa prep for as long as anataka until you guys conceive mm. kama uko na multiple sexual partners sponsor may decide and take kupeleka by boyfriend may decide and take kupeleka na ivasha mm-hmm. na wewe unasema mimi kitu mm. naogopa ni mimba si ukimwi <laughs> na mnajua tu na ivasha sisi tuko na mahindi ya kuona ni watu wanavunwanga na ivasha 
So that is now the prep yeah. that you take. Mm. So that is now after so, so after exposure after sex. Okay, Kirudi Nairobi sasa una meza pep. Sasa ukirudi Nairobi meza pep. Alafu unapitia Kangemi. Shukia Kangemi upewe pep 26 days. Ah, it's got a story. I I'll let us go. There's a story I've been asked to share. Now this is in confidence and I'll not to mention that. There's kuna mtu anasema ya kwamba alikuwa na mtu. Mhm. Ah mtu akasikia tu kwa roho kwa damu anaambia ah pima kitu. Ah mm. pima. Mm-hmm. Ni mali safi lakini kitu inamwambia kwa roho pima. Mhm. Mm-hmm. kupima ikatoka ni positive. Mm. Saka muuliza kwa nini you ready to uh, you know to get intimate with me and you know very well your status. Mm. Akasema yeye ako atini carry as in fact the other person. Kuna kitu kama hiyo? No. Hey. Hakuna kitu kama carrier. Mm. Like aki 2020 na like ya kuisha tumebakisha siku ngapi 2020? Mpaka 17 days. Kwa sababu I want to make an official plea to Kenyans. Atelezema atio mimi na baba lakini siwezi pea mtu. There is nothing like a HIV carrier. Mm. You either HIV positive or HIV negative. Mm. What we have are people who are living with HIV and are undetectable. Mm. When you are undetectable you cannot infect your partner if you have been taking your medication correctly and consistently and you are healthy. Mm. You don't declare yourself undetectable. Mm. The test declares you undetectable. Unafanywa test inaitwa viral load inakuja below a thousand copies of uh, the vir- virus level in your body unaambiwa now you are undetectable. And that the undetectable is not a permanent status. Mm. That is why your test lazima ifanywe after every six months. So our watu sicarious wako na HIV ni vile because of the science of ARVs it has me- weakened the virus that mm. it's not it's no longer as highly transmittable as it used as it to be oh, yeah. mm. so it's basically hakuna kitu kama carrier najua hiyo kitu ya carrier imerudi tena 2020 najua wadali watu wa 2020 wamesema hakuna kitu kama carrier hii kitu kile uko naye mauna ni kama pesa ile uko naye mauna hakuna story at you ni kuna pesa lakini iwezi toka <laughs> I'll ask you a very a, a personal question. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've mentioned uh, the, the issue of discord and couples. Yeah. And uh, you've actually mentioned that rightfully that your parents kuna mwenye negative kuna mwenye positive. Yeah. How does that happen? So discordant couples do happen. Mm-hmm. Uh one this one is not does not really apply, apply in Africa, but there is 1% of people in the world who cannot actually get hiv they have a special genetic disorder mm. but they are not in africa in mm. fact they i think in western europe hey, that's a very good disorder <laughs> <laughs> it is something you can buy <laughs> you can't unfortunately you're just born with it and i'm even thinking i think in the area to vile uko kwa ukuko uh but now for discordant couples there is a uh, what we call voluntary male circumcision mm. voluntary male circumcision especially for the male partner prevents up to 60% <coughs> of hiv transmission mm. so for a man who is actually circumcised akuna 60% chances of to get infected uh-huh. uh it's actually voluntary male circumcision is actually a form of hiv prevention mm. uh for a woman it's harder for a woman to infect a man than it is for a man to infect a woman mm. because of how women are created and uh, how men are created mm. so a man can infect seven women but a woman might not be able to infect one man uh-huh, okay. so because of the depositing d- exactly yes. so because sex mostly happens in the woman and mm-hmm. not in the man yeah, sure. so that is why it is unapata some of some of these people wana kwambia hawajai kunywa prep hawajai kunywa pep but you find me especially kwa 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 nini unapata situation where the woman is positive and the man is negative it's very easy for them to live very many years without the one of them infecting the other so th- that happens but now sai na med- modern medicine sasa ndio tumepata prep ndio tumepata watu wenye kuna ARVs wakikunywa ARVs vizuri they cannot infect their partners so and, and as i think as time goes by Uh, there is going to be even better uh, prevention methods than is nakuja all right let me ask you kimboy now uh ume ume koma ume kwa karibu na maliza shule of course nataka kuanzisha familia uh ukitafuta demo utakuwa unatafuta demo and i'm not someone you're going to meet someone you're going to meet someone who is hiv positive like you or someone who is hiv negative and why okay i think bali nimefika um 
there's no more fear like sasa utaanza ku disclose aje mm. so mimi sijaji limit ati sasa lazima ni date mtu mwenye labda ako na same status kama yangu hapo mm. sijaji limit like niki uki meet na mtu mwenye ako na status kama yako and you interested in her well and good but uki meet pia na mtu mwenye uh, um like same amko the same status and you are interested with her you are good as well mm. so i jani limit at sasa nafaa ku date mtu mwenye ako na status mm. kama yangu no mm. so if you are to date someone who is, who is negative how, how how would you handle that is it that uh, tutasema asa with the moral kuna sema tushike kitu ndio tusonge pamoja <laughs> ama kuna vile mtu anaweza manager kuwa negative na za watoto ambao wako negative pia okay unajua mtu ndio wanzishi relationship it's 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 not an issue of Okay unajua watu wengine tu wanaanzanga ni ile mna meet na mtu mnaenda mnalala naye and then from there sasa mnaanza ku discuss like sasa mm. i think we should no, start the, the relationship that. yes mm. ini kitu yenye mnaanza pole pole like you meet mnaanza kuongea these are we should live and all that so your planning yote inaanzanga mki meet mki meet mshaelewana mm. and then sasa from hapo unajua sasa unamwambia um um this way so if it's a sense that we may be to live and all that so hizi mipango zote zinaanzianga hapo si ile mnaanza mnafanya mambo mengine mm. then alafu mnaanza discussion bado no no <laughs> mnamaliza kila kitu hapo ndio mki move <laughs> unachora plan kwanza it is a progress <laughs> yeah it's like mnaenda na stairs mm-hmm. is is only lazima u deal na stairs kwanza kwanza mm-hmm. ndio u progress wende mm-hmm. does it worry Next you step. sometimes no it doesn't it has never worried yeah you mm-hmm. mkienda ku meet na mtu unajua hata mtu like mki meet na yeye mkiongea mm-hmm uone mtu amekusikiza ujue mtu ameku understand you already anajua status yako mm. so yo yo mtu ku understand kwanza ku pay like your attention na kusikize mm-hmm. tayari ameshana uh, yeah. but you meet people who don't know you like what when you kujui maybe on the media or social media mm-hmm. unapata na then you like ah, unaanza maybe uangalia dating then you disclose and say by the way and fortunately this is is someone nisha ongea na mtu mwenye labda ajui about my status as in mtu mwenye amekuwa too strange ile tu mnaenda maybe mm-hmm. you met in a matter of not that mm-hmm. wale watu wote wenye labda tusha ongea nao ni watu wenye at least they know my, my story aha uh-huh. mora mm-hmm. wewe wewe we, ukipanga hivi kuna maji maji hapa naona size mpaka amaanza kuuliza ipira pika wabiji wanataka kukita nayo <laughs> this story when you get to that point how do you how do you deal with this do you do you foresee yourself maybe settling down uh, starting a family does it worry you sometimes that maybe probably you could not get someone who understand you mm-hmm. your, your status or if you do would you go for a person who is negative or someone who is positive and if you go for someone who is negative how do you plan to manage that i i honestly don't have a preference i would go with any mm-hmm. uh, most uh, majorly a negative person because na just is in fact so akuna issue hapo and uh, we, we we are good and we are okay with that but when it comes to uh, a p- a meeting people a lot of people seem to know my hiv status and most of them wanataka wanakutaka for you to at your i want us to change the world together <laughs> so <laughs> So they are to change the world together. Yeah, hey. I remember the pair love to endless other to change the world together. We change our status and we want to change the world together. Mungira na kwamba we ni post to ni post. Uh, hey, to change the world. Uh, Same as ni mimi. So you see that this such a kind of Kwa naume, wana zaka. Wewe wewe. Wana mara joga Kenya wanasema kama ni history inatoka ngo wakati wa mimi yote. I think it's story. maji baridi itulie. Ameza rudi tena hiyo story. Kusema the hunters to change the world together. Kama atasema no, is iko nimesema we change the world. I honestly don't think so. Like most people uh, especially now that it's personally feel disadvantaged because now these people know my HIV status. So they are already at an advantage Yeah. Uh, point than mm. i am mm. so mwingine anakupeleka data anaanza kumbe eh hey, sasa hebu niambie juu ya prep mm. na pep mm. aha mm. na sasa mtu akipima akiwa undetectable anaweza patikana akiwa na hiv mm. ah but then unajua niko na my aunt alikufa na hiv mm. but the time unatoka hapo ni hiv education mwangalia the old hata mtu anakuambia story ha Huh? Unashangaa okay nilikuja kufanya counseling au <laughs> nilikuja date kwa date ama ilikuwa date <laughs> at least tumekula lunch na kawa ya bure mgiongelewa <laughs> but, but that is sad anyway yeah, you know that, that, that's sad date. because but, but also there's sadness because you know it, it's quite unfortunate that people meet you mm-hmm. and they start already branding you because of the things that you are in i mean yeah. they don't look at you as a human being mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they look at you as your condition you know mm-hmm. they look at you as a condition mm-hmm. they look at you this hiv mm-hmm. and there's one thing we just want to have a discussion around that. Mm-hmm. i mean it's, it's quite unfortunate mm-hmm. and someone actually was a question here mm-hmm. about uh, the same thing and i think it's, it's it's a very timely question mm-hmm. because about the conversation that come around it yeah. you know 
when people look at people you should see them as a human being mm-hmm. the hiv discussion and their condition should be a different so like when you meet someone who is struggling with cancer you don't sit with them and tell them okay cancer about cancer <laughs> cancer this <laughs> chemo why <laughs> so kwani na kwanga tu kimo tio mora so ukinimbea nikimeza alafu you know all those things someone who was asking david on serio monda and asema during for those who have a family members with hiv how do you get them to talk openly about the topic like you do there's still so much stigma around hiv please advise so okay let me start na family members mm-hmm. family members wanaikanga pressure kwa people living with hiv unataka mtu amepatikana ako na hiv leo akuja wakalishe kwa family meeting awambie sasa nimepatikana ni kuna hiv tutadila je nayo you see this is a person who has just gone nobody expects that mm-hmm. when they take the test they're going to turn positive kila mtu anajuanga atatan negative mm-hmm. and then na turn positive so they go they they already immediately going to shock some of them going to deny all and then naenda into bitterness unaanza ku blame the person who infected you some of them actually in a the bitterness is so bad that in Africa the level where they decide to infect other people intentionally mm-hmm. yeah. so <laughs> when, when when your family member you find out akuna hiv mpatie time give them time to heal give them time to come around give them time to accept because a lot of us tunataka tuwape pressure tunataka wakuje watuambie sasa niko na hiv tangazo mm-hmm. tangazo <tangazo. laughs> breaking news <laughs> ni leo <laughs> nimekuja nayo kama zaidi ya christmas you see even if they tell you they have hiv you're not going to change the status yes, it's still going to remain the same so let this person adjust to the news fast when they get comfortable enough they will tell you because everybody is getting comfortable they disclose but until they are comfortable accept wewe unataka kuja kuambia kuna hiv so a lot of people say my my sister is taking her arv in secret anakunywa arv ndio basi muache just leave them because as i said everybody has a choice on how they decide to handle their hiv so don't give pressure to the family members who are not living with hiv stop giving your family members pressure who just found out that they're living with hiv wewe waangalie wa support alafu unajua wengine they go extra but I, i think why most people decide not to disclose ni unapata sasa mtu ameanza kukuletea special diet unaletewa maziwa matunda sijui nini so una feel kama mtu mgonjwa ku bedridden and you just a normal person so that is actually what a lot of why a lot of people don't like disclosing because the minute tuna disclose what what i kuna kama normal person yeah. what akuonanga tu kama mtu uko na hiv what aku treat kama mtu uko na hiv ukiumwa na kichwa kidogo unasema guy tu kuletea panadol ni unasikia je unaona na haku ni 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 tu ni normal tu it's just the body reacting but this and that is why most family members wana deciding mimi sitambia mtu wengine unawaambia wanaanza ku support kidogo kidogo wanasema wewe uko na ukimwi kwa nini usitishe msaada kwa watu wengine wako na ukimwi kama wewe mm-hmm. so just kama kitu kidogo ikifanyika wanasema wewe wewe kitu nasumbua ni ukimwi <laughs> kuna mtu ashai ambaye ni watu wengi mnajipenda sana <laughs> so you see so imagine just let, just let your family member be unless ameacha dawa mm-hmm. Na amekuwa there's some okay some people when hiv progresses a lot ina kusingi some neurological side effects mm-hmm. so unapata tu mtu anaanza kupigana na watu kwa familia so inaleta mental Ill, uh, health issues mm-hmm. some to come huyo you can now step in as a family and seek help for them mm-hmm. but now a person who is normal and healthy and taking their rvs mm-hmm. just leave that person alone wakiwa na tayari atakwambia tu wako naye hai eh kemboy nataka ongeleshe mm-hmm. wanaume tukifunga What, what do you advise man talk to man they are your people okay hii ujumbe ni ya wanaume alafu unaona like every ama watu wakiongea unaona ni kama wanaume ndio wanaonewa sana mm-hmm. so now hii ndio hii ni opportunity yenu sasa ya kwanza ku change hiyo hiyo discussion sasa watu waanze ku like wasiongelelea ati ni wanaume ndio wanafanya hivi ndio wanafanya vile so alafu hii discussion ndio i change it's all it's all about us like it wants to be responsible mm. mtu anze kujua hiv is real na hiv iko iko hapa mm. na ijakuja ndio ikuje shike miti ama ngombe ama nini umekuja mm. shike miti human yeah human mm. so ujukiwa hapo you always at risk alafu wanasema like everyone has an hiv status you either living with hiv or not mm. alafu if you are living with hiv haimaanishi ni mshahara kwa maisha na kama hujambukizwa si atutaishi hivyo mm. um, uh, 
hapo labda sema your entire life mm. ijo hata mimi nilizaliwa na sikuwa nayo lakini nilikuja kupata njiani mm. so it's all about you kwa responsible ujue venye utaji protect usije expose um, right now we have iso protective nini hizo tezi mesemo hapa iso protective measures you, you can use condom you can have a partner mwenye una status yake uko faithful kuna pia story na prep and all that so it's all about you uone tu ile mbinu yenye itakuenye itawezekana kwako yeah and you hiyo mbinu make sure may uphold na endelee vizuri so Yeah, I think you would do when you say that. Okay. Mm. Okay, any final remarks ambao unataka kupeana? Yeah. Uh, uh, and lazima kila mtu ajue hali yake. Uh-huh. Ndio maana nimesema like everyone has an HIV status and vizuri ujue status yako ndio ujue uh-huh. ile ile hatua utachukua next. Uh-huh. Juu, you are positive until you are tested negative. Yes. Uh-huh. So ni vizuri ujue status yako ujue if hauna ujue venye utaji protect usikuje kupata. Hivi uko nayo pia uh-huh. it's um hapo um, ndio sasa ndio utaanza kuji accept ujue uko nayo uanze kuji accept uanze medication uishi maisha mzuri waache stress kula vizuri uh-huh. na maisha yako tu itakuwa sawa. Uh-huh. So HIV status yako if if um If to say already do infected HIV status yako is a change fate it yako yeah so ili be ili, ile tu ambitions ambazo ulikuwa nazo hivyo in school uendelea na masomo yako kama ulikuwa unafanya job uendelea endelea na job yako ili ile tu ile tu dreams yenye ulikuwa nazo upasu yeah uendelee tu kuzipasu mm-hmm. at the end of the day HIV is just a condition haiwezi ka ku affect in any way mm-hmm. so sure. impress yourself and mm-hmm. ukisonga na yeah ukisonga uh-huh. no, no. kubali maisha venye iko yeah Aya, Dorin. Mhm. Eh, madem bana siku hizi wanakopanga, wanaogopa mimba kuliko ukimwi. Mm. Unajua watu wanaona Dorin, ah huko sawa, huko fiti. Anasema <laughs> hii kitu atakumbe zika baya sana. Na madem they can easily buy P2 than buy condoms. Yeah. Na naona kupata dem siku ya kwanza anakwambia ah ana anakuambia kupitia hapa nichukue P2. Haiwezi kwa mimi pitia uchukue condom. Ndio mm. achukue P2. <laughs> madem ogopa mimba kuliko 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 ukimwi. Mhm. Unaambiaje madem? First of all uh, wasichana wengi wanaogopa mimba kuliko ukimwi kwa sababu uh, mimba ni evidence that you had unprotected sex. Uh, ukimwi utameza ya zako and that is it. But unfortunately mimba ni temporary. Mtoto akishatoka kwa tumbo that's it. Mhm. Anafika na sahani yake. Anafika na sahani yake. Before you know it huyo mtoto ako 18 years old ata umkumbuki. But ARV ni mtoto mwenye hato kangi. Akotu. Akotu. Muna pambana tu na e. mm. asubuhi mchana usiku and the stigma is there and you can't just say that it's going to be an easy life living with HIV. Living a life of taking medication every day is not easy. And mm. I can say that because I've been on medication for 15 years and it is not easy. So as much as tunapenda kujikinga kutoka kutokana na kupata mimba pia tujikinge kutokana na kupata HIV. Mm. Let us normalize condomizing. Mm-hmm. Let us normalize knowing our HIV status and that of our partners. Mm-hmm. Because trust pregnancy is very temporary. Mm-hmm. But HIV is permanent. Haina dawa, haina reverse, haina anything until you will be over here preferring um preferring a uh, HIV over pregnancy until you get both. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. You have a child who is at risk of getting HIV, you have yourself who is living with HIV mm-hmm. and you have a child. Mm-hmm. Unaona? So just normalize testing. And if you can't partner wako kukuuliza babe ni trust mwambie mm, trust tu ninajua mm-hmm. ni trust condom. Mm-hmm. Hizo zingine ni hadithi za bunwasi. Mm-hmm. Because as long as you don't know the HIV status of your partner mm-hmm. Trust me you're at risk of getting HIV. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Nikuuliza unaona there are two scenarios. Mm-hmm. Wakati ukimu ilifika mm-hmm. it was sold with fear. Yeah. Now it's being sold with you know like fanfare and normalize. Mm-hmm. And you know it's okay. I mean you can live with this thing. If someone sees came and sees you they're like ah ikitu bana hata tusiogope sana. Now those, these are two sides which are very dangerous as well. Mm-hmm. Ile yenye ilikuwa inatoa mtu mwenye nywele imeisha mm-hmm. amekonda shingo ni mrefu. Yeah. You know kichwa ni kadogo hivi. <laughs> It was selling fear and it was not working. Now it's mm-hmm. about people who are healthy who are continuing with their lives mm-hmm. and now it's, it's even lowering down the guard. Yeah. Like uh, I take it to see by how do you also deal with it? What would you tell the people? Because I mean are there struggles that you go that you will tell someone don't look at me like this me no no don't think that it's a it's a good thing to have. So that you also under those people who are seeing looking at you because no na hapo watu wanasema oh Dorina kama alisafi nini nini kama hayo. I mean 
is there something you can speak to these people because unajua at the heat of the moment you are like ah you get to have a conversation are there things that you, you that pains you wish you could reverse like you could wish you could live a different life I honestly don't know if I wish I could live a different life because, because you don't know I have never life. really been HIV yeah. negative so yeah. since sema I wish I could be HIV okay. negative Okay there are there struggles that you get with struggles ni kumeza dawa mtu asiwahi kuambia ti kumeza dawa ni kama kukula chakula ama ku brush meno una struggle una struggle let me tell you taking the medication comes with side effects mm. the medication is not easy mm. we are living in a world where you can't wewe utatembelea unatembelea mtu na juice status yako anaona una meza meza tu dawa anachukua hizo dawa anapiga picha anaweka pale kwa internet mm. anauliza watu nimepata hizi dawa kwa bagi ya mwitu mm. ni za nani mm. ni za nini mm-hmm. they start googling they start coming to my nini wanasema leo there is somebody i know they're taking medication kama hiyo container tu yenye niliona uli post you yeah. see yeah. so the stigma about hiv is still there yes you can see us living normal lives because we want to break the the barriers that were caused by hiv huko yeah. kitambo za kusema watu wanakufa na nini tunataka tuzitoe but now as much as tunazitoa and we are breaking off those barriers mm-hmm. How are we making sure that these people because nimekwambia fear does not actually uh, mm. fight pandemics very well. <coughs> yeah. because people find ways of living with fear mm. and in 36 years hiv changes because this is a virus and viruses mutate along mm. the way mm. and it it is it is changing because now you're finding people who are very healthy but still they're living with hiv so The struggle is taking medication every day. The struggle mm. is accepting yourself. The struggle is disclosing your HIV status to someone. Mm. This I know when I'm saying oh dating ni ngumu, dating ni ngumu side zote mbili, whether uko negative or positive. But ukiwa positive ni ngumu zaidi kwa sababu watu wana behave ni kama hakuna mtu mwingine anakutaka except yeye. You see? Mm. Yeah. So don't look at HIV as an easy thing. It's not. I always tell people kama uko negative, stay negative, protect that status with all you have. Mm. People will never tell you they have HIV. Mm-hmm. You will find people who will not tell you you have HIV in a mission in 10 years. Mm-hmm. So it is up to you to take the responsibility. Know your status, know their status. Kila mtu ajipange. Kila mtu ajipange. Right. Kuna swali nataka kuuliza very quickly mm-hmm. uh, kwani watu wawili. Yeah. Uh, just someone said Dorin recently there was a lady in the media on Tuko News boasting broadly that she had deliberately infected thousands of Kenyan men mm-hmm. because she did not want to die alone. Should mm-hmm. such people pre- 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 be prosecuted in court? I'll talk to you Dorin. Alafu to kemba jibu hiyo nikifunga kiosk. I want to play the devil's advocate. Mm. It is not her responsibility to have your health as a concern. It is your responsibility. Wewe ndio ume decide mimi ninataka huyu mdem na simtaki na sidi. So she can't force you to actually use. This mm. is a willing buyer willing seller. Uh-huh. She did not mm. force anybody to have sex with her. These mm. people were willing. Mm. And she did also not force anybody to and, and nobody forced her to have sex with them. Mm. So as long as wewe umekuja umesema ah mimi nitaki hiyo maneno ya CD. It is you putting your health on the line. You see a lot of people championed and said that lady needs to be persecuted. But what wrong did she do? Yeye alikuwa na willing buyers na yeye alikuwa willing seller. and there is he, as and you nasema your health is your responsibility it starts with you you see her you say okay i still don't know her status so i'm just going to use a condom i still don't know her status i'm going to actually uh, t- take my prep medication but if you just see her you go ahead have sex with her and then later on start blaming her for infecting you yeye hakukufos wewe when you make that choice it's a choice health is a responsibility and a choice at the same time mm. so Even if you take her to the HIV tribunal the first question you will be asked is before you slept with her did, did you know you your know? HIV status mm-hmm. no before you after you slept with her was are you sure that she was the I, she was the only partner you had in that time a lot of people unapatanga hapana alikwanga na yeye na other other people so you cannot really pinpoint your HIV status on her just because amejitokeza akasema ali infect watu yeye ali infect watu kwa sababu ni watu walimkujia hakuna mtu ali force by the way mm. she did not force anybody mm. yeah so hichi tu tuanze kuitafuta exactly okay but how usianze kusema ni mtu atafanya hivi i mean personal responsibility yeah, exactly. okay, right. all right are you also going to be the devil's advocate kemboy exactly. ama ama you will defend uh, yeah. okay nda fanya nusu nusu <laughs> kwanza yeye ni victim kwanza hiyo sinema yako yako yakupewa hiki tu what do you think about that 
Okay, I think on one as much as it was wrong for her like an adjusted as yake na still anaenda kulala na watu without protection it was wrong okay. but still i watched that clip na kaulizwa like um, na mbona huku au kuna waambia yeye akasema ni responsibility ya mtu kujilinda so which hapo uh, uh, alikuwa right um, alikuwa right hapo akisema hivyo because unajua ukienda commit na mtu mnaenda kulala naye na uji status yake and you know hiv is real uh, hata si HIV tu uh, 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 is, yeah hizi maestia zingine mm. so hapo ukienda tu ukienda tu kulala naye na uji status yake plus wewe pia labda uji status yako hapo ni wende umeenda umejianika mwenyewe mm. so as much as ali, it was wrong for her kulala na watu bila kuambia i think alikuwa right at some extent mm. Mm. Right. so it's all about mtu mwenye mnaenda kulala na mtu ama mna meet na mtu mwenye uji status yake mm. ni responsibility yako ya kujiprotect mm. yeah Right. At least you can you can take kama unajikinga. Usikuje kusema ati yo sijui nilipewa, nilipewa, iko zawadi. Aya, is in prince and and another problem positive people are facing is going for antenatal, more especially in here in Uganda because another respect a woman who has gone with their husband. But in this case if a man understands he is positive, you won't go, of course in most cases. By the way, and you see there are women who have been infected by their men mm. who are hiding the status. Yeah. Uh, no man woman and mezanga pia rvs kwa cho. And they they're giving birth to children probably who turn out positive or not and i was actually wondering i don't know because of time maybe we'll answer that another time mm-hmm. but i was wondering is it possible for two positive people to have children who are negative without yeah. maybe prevention and all that Very you, know, you know that's something that we would want to look at but anyway uh so i don't want comments about it i love you uh nancy the one doing some back about you uh i can run some back in keeping uh princess is watching from kampala i want to know i keep up myself my dory now okay i love me hey yeah <laughs> 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 Aya zuru dorina mwambia chezeni kujani 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 <laughs> uh, kezi kazina anasema dorina is glowing sasa wafula so wana some basi mwana all right i can see a lot of guys who have uh, who have actually who, who have uh, you have really enjoyed the conversation we're having today but there's something interesting that i've noticed today i ran a poll mm-hmm. on people if someone who is watching us is living with aids mm-hmm. and actually half of people who are living with hiv mm-hmm. who have been watching us today yeah. uh, 77 percent Uh, 77 people they are not living with the hiv that is the 3 4% are living with the hiv so it tells you that people are beginning to get comfortable with what it is and i think it's a good thing so that we can we can build a better because they realize kwamba hata wakufangi ugonjwa wana kufa ma stress na cheki ma stress ama stigma wanapigwa ona this is happening society watu wanafinywa wanafinywa ndio inaanzanga mtu hata anakufa mapema kuna pata msee akiwekwa kwa hivi akakapoa na kulapoa na kuna mtu anamkumbusha ako nayo they just supposed to be able to forget about it that you're not even having it but if people constantly remind you when they see you want to have a HIV conversation with you that you know mm. you constantly remind that you actually are working a working status or a working statistics uh not this matter some I salute these two guys for coming out to educate people it's everyone responsibility to take care of the health asante sana naona pia tuko na Paul Scott Melania do you know your status 78% know their status 30% they don't know Oh, there is a person who just started as yeah. This time people are not still uh are not still uh are not still testing. Now on Mwema Steam Mwema Sama this is one of the most enlightening show this year. Keep up the good work Gerald. I follow Mora on Twitter and she is courageous. And Sana Belson keep going watching from Kamsa but this close of the test has takes a lot of uh confidence. Thank you so much guys. It's been a pleasure to have you. As usual this is a tackle and the tackle ends now. See you again tomorrow. Bye bye and we love you. Take care.